brighten it up just a little. Okay, wait for everybody to get here. And uh, take a sip of juice. <sighs> All right, got lots to do today. Lots to do. Hi, Icy, how you doing? Hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Monday. <laughs> How was your weekend? <clears throat> I got to get my voice going here. <clears throat> I slept with the window open, which probably wasn't too good. Um, let's see. April, Patty, anybody else popping in? I got some Amour Fabrics in. We're going to cover this journal. And probably this little one. I have a plan for this one. I got some woodies in. A new pack of woodies. So lots to do. Lots to do. Roll up the old sleeves. <laughs> Sandy, Astrid, Darlene, Ray, Teresa. Busy and wonderful things. Yeah, we, we didn't really do a lot. Denise is in New York. So we didn't get together with her this weekend. Um, they're working on a roof. Uh, they're uh, replacing a roof across the street. So if it gets too loud, I'll close the close the window. But I was enjoying listening to the birds. Let's see if we can hear them. Can you hear the birds? So as long as the roof does the roofers across the street don't get too loud, I'll leave the window open. Otherwise, I'll close it. <clears throat> Hi, Debbie Bruce, Pamela. Hi, Angie. Angie, get your sewing machine fixed. Hi, Journey. Uh, Kristen, Diana, Ray, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Good morning. You don't need your fancy slippers on today. Denise is not going to be here. She's in New York. I have some pictures to show. What do I do with my phone? Hang on. I think I left. Oh, here it is. Um, let's see. Do I have some pictures? Denise was in uh, is in New York this week. She was out um, gallivanting around. Here's a. There she's in the car. <laughs> she's she's blowing all the she's blowing all you fibs a kiss. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so there's here. Let's see if I can kind of, I don't know if I can. They were in the car, so she took pictures from the car. And uh, here she is here. So, yeah, living her best life in New York. <laughs> let's see, Leona. I haven't had time to take it. We had to take maybe the thing to do the airport. Okay. Well, you better get that. Um, you better get that sewing machine fixed, Angie, because everybody's depending on you to contribute to Keisha's auction next month. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, a little gal. Let's see. A little gallivanting is good for any of us. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she's uh, yeah, she's kind of cute. She is kind of cute. <laughs> so let's see. Terry Brett Maseki. Uh, I know I'm probably missing people coming in. Did I say I had a Missy and Darlene? Um, let's see. What else? No, not, not a lot. She didn't. I, and I did post pictures this morning, garden pictures. So here's my garden, week three. There's week three. And Gumby and Pokey are guarding it. <laughs> Gumby and Pokey are gar guarding the garden. There's the garden, week three. <laughs> I did post that on Instagram. Well, I posted that everywhere. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it to show today. And I posted a couple of Easter pictures. And yeah, and here we are. Hi, Becky Kalura. Happy Monday. But yeah, she's uh, living her best life in New York. <laughs> so if y'all missed it, so here she is. Here she is saying hi to the fibs. 
and then the other one where's the other one here there we go <laughs> so oh is there is there uh, do we have a troll or something i see janet saying i'm on it rachel <clears throat> Yeah, we didn't have we don't have Easter candy around here either, but yeah. <laughs> if I'm gonna eat uh, chocolate or anything like it's gonna or candy, it's gonna be the dark chocolate bar, you know, like snap off a square, something like that. So anyway, good morning everybody. Happy Monday, marvelous Monday, as Julie calls it. <clears throat> I'm trying to get my voice going here. Uh, caffeine because uh, 60 does my day. Oh, I'm sorry, Angie. Well, hang in there. Hang in there. Get your sewing machine fixed and stay busy. Okay. So I got a few things to do today. I'll I'll try to let's see what we how we're gonna how I'm gonna manage this. All right, so I, I want to cover another one of my uh, Dilusions journals, okay? Here's the cover from it. I want to, I want to, I'm not covering it with the fabric. I'm going to paint it, collage it. And then I have a plan for the little one as well. I won't tell you that yet. Um, I got some new woodies in. The box was a little <laughs> crushed. I haven't opened it, Janet. I've not opened it. Well, so we'll see how what condition the woodies are in. I have a few woodies. Like I think I have six of them. I have like a red, yellow, orange, blue, black. You know, I just have like a basic set of five or six. <coughs> Maybe eight, but I think it's like six. So I said, well, I need some more colors of woodies. <laughs> so uh tina has no internet she'll be late okay thanks janet waving oh well she probably doesn't hear us so <laughs> hope she gets it gets her internet fixed again bless her heart um yes unveiling of woodies yes <laughs> and then i got some amore fabrics in um selena is back she was gone for like a month or maybe two so she is back with her sari silks and her uh, cantha cloth uh, fabrics. If uh, someone wants to put her Etsy shop in, Amour Fabrics with a Q, if you can't find it, I, I will. Uh, I mean, it's just, I think it's just Janet and Julie right now. So the little Snapdragon, I haven't seen her yet. So I don't know. Janet, are you up for finding Amour Fabrics on Etsy? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, so I'll show these fabrics and, um, <clears throat> I got a pack of these little ones. These are the ones that these little, um, smaller appliques are what I like to use on the prayer pouches, which I have not made any lately, but I should probably get back to that. Some of this right here, these long, wait till you see how long these are. Um, Boo will probably want, Samantha will probably want some of those for her, uh, fabric for her sewing projects. Ah, Pacola, Snapdragon appears. <laughs> Thank you, Pacola. Our little Snap, you can cut, you can come on back now, Janet. <laughs> you can relax now. Just sit back and drink that iced coffee, Janet. Now my eyes are watering. Oh my gosh, y'all get me laughing. My eyes start watering. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Pacola. <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> and then I have a question for y'all. Some of you that are around everywhere, I need to, I have to ask you a question on something, but I'll wait till a few more people get here. Hi, Juanita. She spins. Who found her a new hobby lobby? She found her a new hobby lobby. <laughs> But she's being mean to us, so we're going to click her up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she posted a video. She she and her hubs went to Hobby Lobby, and then uh, <coughs> she had a little haul video. <laughs> oh, my 
my gosh. Hi, Carol, magical Carol. Carol put out a video this week. I haven't watched it. Well, I started watching it, Carol, and then you uh, you had some issues with the internet. So welcome back. And I haven't got back to it yet. But yeah, Carol put out a video. Let's see, who else? There's Donna. Hi, Donna. Hope you're doing okay. Um, so uh, let's see. I hope to answer the question totally inappropriate because now I'm on a roll. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. Uh, as a offering. <laughs> no, sorry. I can't do that. I'm going to keep her. She's a keeper, Rachel. She's a keeper. Both my <clears throat> both my daughters are. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to take a sip of juice and start talking them. And um, we did have rain come through, so hopefully the uh, yellow pollen is out of the air now. Uh, can you all hear the birds? My front yard. A bird feeder and a bird bath in the front yard. But we also have right across the street the roofers replacing the neighbor's roof. So if it gets loud, I'll, I'll close the window. Hi, Barb. Let's see. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you my Amour Fabrics. Um, and there was, oh, here. And she also included a little um, for Fleur de Lis pin, which that is just so pretty. So thank you, Selena. So again, guys, and I will put the I, I will put the uh, link to our Etsy shop in the description box after the show. So y'all can um she she's been closed down for a month of Sundays, maybe two. And so she's back with her um her sari silks and her uh cantha cloth pieces. Uh, no, um, no, 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 no. I don't even know who you are. No, where's the um, where's the delete? I mean, the deny. My deny button's not there. Ignore button. Oh, it'll it'll quit ringing in a minute. Then I can block them. Sorry. Hang on. It'll stop in a minute. <laughs> I don't answer strangers' calls. Okay, so now let me go block them. Hang on. <clears throat> Let's block him. Fur him. Whatever. Let's see. Um, uh, okay, block. I actually have another one. Oops, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hang on, guys. <clears throat> block. Okay, and delete. Okay, all right. Sorry for the interruption. Jana would have answered it and, and harassed them, but I, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> okay, so I got, I think I got three sets of these. I got the uh, red, the teal, and the orange of these. So um, let me just show you. I should probably have a black background here, but look how pretty they are. They're just so beautiful. So these are squares, and I'll just kind of go through them quickly here. So like this one, I'm going to use in my Asian journal because of the color. And then I did get some beads off of Keisha's auction that will match that. So I'm excited to work in my um, Asian journal again. Well, see, this is a full square. I'm not opening each one. But um, <clears throat> I just want to kind of go through them quickly so y'all can see how beautiful they are. Can y'all see okay? Do I need to zoom in? I think that looks pretty good. So. <clears throat> and uh, then we'll do what we're going to, I'm going to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, paint and collage a journal. And uh, do something with the small one, which I haven't announced what I'm going to do yet. I need someone, I need someone's help on, on a question I have. Well, I, I was kind of wanted to wait till enough people were here. <clears throat> okay, so there's the red. Hi, view. Let's see. Who else? Julia I said hi to Icy. Icy was the first one here. Okay, so y'all know Johnny, right? These are some little squares here, little pieces. Here's a uh, 
right? Y'all know Johnny journaling. Well, I don't know her name. Uh, her her uh, what do you call it name? Her uh, internet name or her YouTube channel name? Sorry, I'm got my mind on this. Uh, journaling. What's her name? Junk journaling. Uh, somebody help me out. This is why I needed y'all here. I'll wait and see who somebody answers me. Oh, that's upside down. I think so. Junk journal shop. Thank you, Barbara. And wasn't she though? Didn't she do um, one of her auctions where she donated all the proceeds to Ukraine? I think. Am I right on this, Barb? Or somebody? Can you help me? If you don't know, just tell me, and I will. Uh, there's a purple one thrown in there. Um, I will uh, ask somebody later if y'all aren't sure. Am I right? <clears throat> Hi, Dan. Uncle Dan, scrap girl. Here's a dark blue one. And here's a teal. Look at that. So pretty. Johnny at Junk Journal Shop. Thank you. Is she Didn't she do a an auction where she don't, did the donations? Am I right? Let me reach out for a minute. Hang on, because I'm going to miss it if, if y'all say something in it goes rolling by. It might have already rolled by. <clears throat> if y'all don't know, I'll wait until somebody comes in that, that goes to her channel all the time. Because I don't go to her channel all the time. So I catch her every now and then. But Okay, so there's that. Let me just kind of go through the... Okay, And these are big squares. I'm just going to fold them, open them in half here. <clears throat> Because I don't know if anybody knows if that was, I think it was her. I'm pretty sure it was her. Okay, so we got that. <clears throat> this. This. Look how pretty they are. I love these orange ones. Beautiful. I saw her. She had a granddaughter yesterday. I did see that. Well, then, Journey, you might know. Didn't she do a um, thank you, Dan, Uncle Dan? Did, didn't she do uh, a week or two ago an auction where, well, she does auctions, she sells stuff um, where she, look at that one. Sorry, rabbit trail, where she donated the proceeds or a lot of the the proceeds of her auction to uh, Ukraine. If y'all don't know, just say, but, and I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll wait till somebody knows. Okay. So there's the orange ones. Then I just bought a pack of the, um, of small, of little small ones that, uh, let me see. Let me zoom in one here. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Rachel. These little ones I got for the prayer pouches. Hi, Dolly. It's hi, Cat and Paste. Oh, I got to show Cat and Paste new, new color book page. Oh, my gosh. It's stunning. Cat and Paste does amazing coloring. If you don't follow her, you need to. <clears throat> so just so many little you know these are the little pieces like this that, that work well on the prayer pouches <clears throat> if y'all haven't seen them then you can go on my Instagram I haven't made them in a couple of months but you can go back and there you'll see them on my IG if you just put on my name you can find me I'm Inkywell I-N-K-I W-E-L-L, -L, but if you put in Dee Dee Willingham, you'll find me. So either way, look at that one. So pretty. So I got this little pack. I was so glad to see Selena coming back from um, being away for um, a couple of months. <laughs> I see you from the corner. Are you in the corner, Dan? Did Jana put you in the corner? <laughs> Let's see. Flow. 
uh Kristen what's a prayer pouch let's see do I have one handy um because I give them away so I don't really I have one I keep one hang on let's see if I can get to it hang on <clears throat> I keep one or two for a sample but I I make them and give them away so I don't let's see if I can find where is it Ah, here we go. All right, so this one is kind of, this one is one of my first prototypes. I make them a little fancier now with some beads and some other things. But this is, um, this is one of the prayer pouches. Now I put beads right here. And sometimes I put little things hanging down. But um, it's just a handmade pouch. Okay, it's a handmade pouch. And I put a prayer in it. <clears throat> and I, I, I make them and I just give, you know, send them out. So, um, I mean, I've a couple people have bought them so that they could give them to other people. But when I make them for people to put, a, when I put a prayer in them, I just give them away. But anyway, so you can just hang them on the wall or wherever you want. So this is what the prayer pouches are. And it's all hand sewn. I have about, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, 15, maybe more on my instagram if you go look on instagram there's a whole bunch of pictures of them i try to take pictures of them all before i send them out but um yeah so that's what i'm thinking these will be good for all right then i got these pieces which are also good for prayer pouches like let me show you them and some other people started making them too so like I have lace on this one. Like I said, this is one of my prototypes. So it's not as, uh, but look like this. See, <clears throat> see what I mean? You can put some of this, you know, now the, all, of course all these aren't matching this fabric, but just so you can kind of get an idea. That's what uh, you, I use these for. And then I also made some cuffs with these with just Velcro. Um, I gave some to Boo to try to make some to sell. So um, make cuffs with them. You can either just make them like this with a piece of Velcro so you can take it on and off easy. Or you could do it with a button. You could put a button on it. But look, see, look how pretty that is. So I might make a couple of these just to wear so y'all can see. So y'all can see what they look like. Uh, I don't think I have, I think I gave them all to Boo, all the ones I had made. So, but look, isn't that, isn't that pretty as a, as a bracelet, as a cuff, as a cuff? Real quick, I don't, I'm sure people come in and, hi, Terry Brett, people that I'm missing. Let me go, I'm going to show y'all this, and I'll show y'all Denise again, too. Living her best life in New York. <laughs> uh, let's see photos. Yeah, there's Denise in New York. She's, she's there. She left last week. They, they'll be up there most of this week. Where's another picture? This is, this is from Denise to you guys. She did a selfie in the car. She's saying, hi, Fibs. <laughs> oh, was it Patty Lang? Okay. I needed to know who it was. Pacola, that's who it is. Okay, let me write this down, Pacola. Thank you, because that's what that's what I I wanted to do something back for her for doing that. So let me good grief, I can't get my there we go. Get my post-it note. I couldn't remember who it was. Thank you, Pacola, Patty Lang, and I don't know how often I probably don't go to her channel much either. Sacred mementos. There's just only so many day, so much time in the day. Okay, so Patty Lang, Sacred Mementos. Is that right, Pacola? Uh, slippers off for Denise for a moment. Yeah. Thank you, Pacola. Because that's who I, I want to do something. I want to do something for her. Um, for doing that. Okay, so thank you, Miss Pacola, my little snapdragon. Okay, so, yes. Hello from Denise. Now, um, oh, the cats are tearing something up up there. As long as they're not going, make sure they're not going out the window. Hang on. <laughs> what are y'all doing? What, what, what? Okay, let me get this. 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 Let me
the wind is not open the wind is not uh, open enough for them to bust through they busted through the one downstairs and he got out um a couple weeks ago let's see Dee, do you have examples of how you use the fabrics in your journals um i don't really use fabrics in my journals except for i'll tell you how i do use them is tabs I'll take a piece like this and make a tab. A tab. Do I have one in? I don't think I have one in my faith journal. In this faith journal, I have to. Maybe I'll show y'all some of my faith journal. I don't know. I'm 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 starting some new journals because they're getting full. We'll see if I get to that today. But uh, I I have used um, some on edging. You know, I'll put some not like this, but. Okay, babe, you're going to have to get down. Go, go sit in the window. Go listen to the birds. Um, <laughs> as a, um, you know how you would use washi tape on the edge? Well, instead of using washi tape, you can use a piece of fabric. But they get thick. They get fluffy. Very fluffy. If you do that too much, if you use fabric on your paper journals very much, they're going to get really fluffy really fast. So I have done a few. Oh. I have one handy here. Let's see. Um, well, on this one, I just put a piece of lace on it. Um, let's see. What else have I got here? Let's just see. So, yeah, but I don't really use them in my journals much. Um, so I want to use a little bit of this red in my Asian journal. But, again, it's going to be a touch. It's not going to be covering things, right? Just a touch. Oh, thank you, Journey. So anyway, let me go back to showing you these real quick. They're just little pieces here. And, uh, of course, every pack you buy is going to be a little different, right? <clears throat> Look at that one. So um, they're just beautiful. Just so beautiful. So if you like these, I got I bought them from Selena at Amore Fabrics. Pacola put the link in a minute ago, and I will put the link in the description uh, after the show. Look at all that. And something like this, you could cut up individually or, again, make a cuff. With some Velcro. All it takes is a little Velcro and you can make you a cuff. So I'll probably do that with a few of these. Make a cup, make a couple cuffs. <laughs> okay. And then these I really got mostly for um mostly because I know Boo could use them. Because look how long they are. This is this is half. This is like, let me see, probably one, two. It's over a yard maybe a yard and a half. <clears throat> so they're just so beautiful. I mean, I can't even show you the whole piece because it's like, you know, it's about four feet. Like there's one, two, three. Yeah, it's about four feet. So it's over a yard of fabric in a strip. So this is half. This is half right here of the whole thing. I folded it. So I'll just kind of show you these. The hat, this is what they look like. That's one. So I thought Boo could probably either use these to put um, things around the bottom of jeans. Because, you know, she remakes she remakes thrift store clothes and sells them. And so this, this would be good, like, around the bottom of jeans, headbands, straps on, a you know, a bag. So, um, yeah, I think she'll, she'll be able to use these. They're so long. So I'm trying to kind of show you, because they're different on both sides, right? So trying to kind of show you inside and out. <clears throat> I know, right, CMP? Oh, I was going to show, speaking of CMP, I went to show CMP and I, I stopped at Denise. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Let me go. I got to show y'all um, Cat and Paste newest. Um... Oh, Julie, I just saw that. I love that. I just saw it. you popped right up in my look. There's Julie Topaz, Topaz Pearl Girl, Julie. I love that, Julie. I love that. Oh, you made it for your precious pearl. Aww. Aww. She lost her precious pearl kitty. And then here's another one Julie did. These are awesome, Julie. Just must have just posted these this morning. because. And Becky Kalora. Becky Kalora's been doing um, kind of Zentangle doodling. Let's see what else. Um, um, let's see. Where's my cat and pace? Here she is. This was stunning. Look at this. That is just so gorgeous. The skin is, and her hair too. Look at her hair. I don't know if y'all can see it very well here, but go look at it. Her hair is beautiful and her skin. Look at that. She's just stunning. Cat and paste. And there's her um, name. Cat and paste underscore. Isn't that beautiful? That's a great job. She has tons of them. I mean, every one she does is beautiful. But that one just really stands out. That background really makes her skin stand out. That's just so pretty. So let's see here. Let me get over to my home page. So if y'all missed my garden, there's my Gumby and Pokey are guarding the garden with the squirrel. And there's the uh, there's the whole garden. That's week three. We're into week three. <laughs> I posted it this morning. It was rain, you know, rainy and everything over the weekend, off and on. So I didn't get to take a good picture till uh, after the rain. And then this was this week's Catterday on Saturday. <laughs> Hi, Fernando. Who else am I missing? Uh, Shelly said hi to Flo. Um, so, yeah, thanks everybody for being here. So, now I don't, I think I'm going this way. <laughs> so, and again, this is all one piece. I'm just kind of trying to flip it so you can see both sides. So, yeah, more fabrics with a Q. Um, Selena's reopened her Etsy shop. So, yeah, nice long pieces here. So I'll try to make a couple of cuffs out of, out of these for May. I don't know if I'll get it by Wednesday. I think I gave all my... Um, velcro to boo so i'll have to get some velcro maybe if i go to hobby lobby tomorrow i'll get some velcro <clears throat> so and make a couple cuffs okay so there's that <clears throat> let's see what else i was going to show those again but maybe not today maybe we'll wait for that um, and then this week, I don't forget to it today. I want to do a giveaway of the plant lady. I bought these books at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago on clearance. Like this one is normally $15 and I got it on clearance for $374. So, um, I was going to try to do a giveaway with this. I already did flips of these, so I'm not going to flip them until I do the giveaway, but either today or maybe, um, Wednesday. I wanted to do a giveaway of the plant lady. What else do I have? Oh, oh. And I took uh, my Tavi. Tavi, is that what it's called, Janet? My Tavi. My little leather Tavi. I took everything out and put this in here. 
I put the book in here that um, they picked up for me out in LA last week. Here's here's something I'm kind of disappointed in in this. They got it at top drawer and it's made by lot well right there that's who it's made by and i bought it and they bought it from top drawer but i remember i told y'all i thought about putting like a little watercolor on each page i'll ask yeah it does janet i'll ask janet about this now this is like you know that cottony paper you know it's real absorbent and um uh, I thought about doing like one little illustration on each page and giving this to boo so I did a little test in the beginning, and I tested out a couple things. Um, but I want to show y'all. Let me show you the watercolors that I tested. They went on. They went on nice and bright. And after they dried, Janet, look how dull they got. Look what happened. Look how dull they got. I don't know if you can tell, but they. And that's like two coats. I don't mind the modeling, you know, how it kind of modeled up. I knew that was going to happen with this paper, but it, they dulled. The, the, the paints are no longer vibrant. So I don't know if I want to do, I don't know what I'm, you know, I can't really gesso it and then put watercolor. It's not the same, <coughs> you know, it's not the same. So look, look how dull. These are the Jane Davenport. So here's full strength with no water. Well, maybe a little bit, right? Because I drug it. But this is what I was expecting it to look like. But look what happens. Look how dull it gets. So I don't know. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I know it's the texture and the <coughs> type of paper, but I didn't expect it to do that much. Dulled down. So I don't know what I'm going to, if I want to do that now. So I was kind of disappointed, disappointed in the dullness of the watercolors. But look how, look how nice it fits in the toffee. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. That was, I just saw it sitting back here and I thought I'd share that. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, y'all know. That we oh and I did do my pencils I did sort and I'll have to show y'all that too, all right so y'all know we do our um, thousand one ways to be creative and we're moving into our thousand one ways to creativity that Rachel got us because we're almost done with this one <coughs> and we're doing our three hundred sixty five days of art we're trying I'm trying to do one of these a week and this is what made me do start another notebook. Okay, and I'll show you those too. There's a lot to show y'all. I always have a lot to show y'all, especially on Monday. Hi, Julia. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty, but it's not what I expected. So uh, we're I'm trying to do one of these a week, not in no particular order. But we did the fish. We did the fish one day, and then the second uh, week, we well, actually, we skipped a week because uh, Denise was here. We did these little five second faces. We did that last week. I don't know what we're going to do this week. But anyway, so I thought, I'm not sure. I don't want to just keep sticking folded pages in here. I could do it for a while, but, you know, it's going to bulk out if I keep putting loose sheets in here. <clears throat> so <laughs> I made two new notebooks. I made one that I think, and I don't know which one I'm going to use for this or how I'm going to, what yet. Because y'all know I got tons of three ring binders. So I started a new three ring binder. This is just copy paper that you can buy that has the hole punch. Do I put my name? I always put my name at the beginning. And it's just a copy paper, thin, thin copy paper uh, that's already been hole punched. So I'm thinking I might use this. I'll put this back in here. Uh, I might use this with this. So when I do these pages, and, and I could add other things too. I put a, I put some dividers in there. And so it's just copy paper is all it is. And because that's what I want to do with this. Just cheap copy paper. I don't want anybody to get anxiety over doing these little, these little quick little things, right? <clears throat> so I did that one. And then some of my other books, some of my other ones like, this one 
this one is getting really pretty full, although there's still some pages here in the back. There's about this much left. Well, about this. No, well, there's a little bit left in here, but this one is getting really full. So I said, well, let me maybe move into another binder. <laughs> so this one, I haven't put my name on it. This one, what I've done is I've divided it up and it's hard to see into different kinds of paper. I've got cardstock. I got craft paper, another kind of um, uh, slick, kind of like Bristol paper. Then I have some black paper. And then back here, I just have um, uh, thicker copy paper, you know. So anyway, I'm thinking about moving into this, moving into one of these instead of one of these. I don't know how many of these I filled up. So... So those are my two new kind of ideas. And um, so speaking of ideas, I also pulled, I went to put something on one of my shelves in the art books and I came, I forgot I had this and we never did anything out of this. I showed it. I'm sure I'm missing. So if y'all have any questions, put it in caps, guys. Put it in caps. I'm not trying to miss y'all. I'm just, I'm just rolling along here. <laughs> So, um, the sketchbook I did generator mix and match prompts. I showed this a while back, but we never really did anything in it. So what it is, it gives you a few demos at the front and the very, very back. It gives you a few little demos on styles, mixed media, pen and ink, miscellaneous. And then the beginning, it gives you some watercolor, gouache, um, color pencil it gives you a few but the the bulk of the book the bulk of the book see those lines right there see where it's divided up Moves it. <laughs> yeah. i have i can't even tell you how many three ring binders i have of society of idea collector ideas <laughs> rachel okay so but look so each one the top section these are all subjects this one are all mediums and techniques then this one is all colors. So you see the colors down here. So you can do a couple different ways. You can just pick a random and then another random and another random. So you can do your dream art studio crayon and these colors. And then she always says at the beginning, if you don't like the colors or whatever, then just flip it. If you don't want that if you don't want to do it in crayon, just flip it to pen and ink. But find just find three things that you like. It doesn't even have to be random. It could be things you actually like to do. Do you know what I mean? So you can pick what you like. But I just thought that this, you know, we haven't done anything in this either. So. <laughs> uh, oh, the square. Yeah, Angie, funny. <laughs> Let's see who else. Hi, Regina. Anybody else I miss? Oh, thank you, Pacola Bar. I already found the book. <laughs> thank you, little Snapdragon. <laughs> and um, so anyway, it's it's kind of cool. So I thought, you know, uh, at the same time, just throwing out some more ideas. Like we don't have enough. We don't have enough ideas that we're working on. These are the <laughs> ideas we're working on right now. Okay, mm -hmm. so, uh, so yeah, this one is just got all kinds of, I've got things I glued, things I like, notes, um, mine, color maps, lists, and I did put him in here because I want to do this, and I put a tab on it because I do want to do my, my blue tree frogs, I did this little sketch. So I do want to uh, work on him. Lots of lists, post-it notes. What else do I have in here? Lots of, there's my cactus. I have some ideas for what I want to do with cactus. But this is getting pretty full too. I threw in those drawings that I did uh, earlier. I think it was in January of some colors like the orange, orange, orange stuff, the yellow stuff. I threw these in here. And then let's see, lots of lists and stuff. So there's a little bit of room left in here. Some more ideas. So, so anyway, it's getting quite 
bulky. So I'm thinking if I had this organized into a three ring, not this one, but if I started a three ring notebook with the divider, see dividers help me. I love my dividers because then I can find things real easy. That's why I, it took me like five minutes to find this because I couldn't remember where I glued them in here. So anyway, there's that. And um, the other journal that I work in, this is my faith journal, and it's quite getting quite the bulk as well. So I don't want to go through it too much, but it's got uh, it's got a lot of things in it. <clears throat> so yeah, oh, got quite a bit going on in my faith journal. So, yeah, got that. I'm working and going in that. So you see, this is still, I'm only about halfway done in this. I got lots more space left in this. So this will stay, this will. This is this year. This is this year, maybe just a little bit of last year in here. So this will last me the rest of the year. This one will. Okay, so there's that. Then, let's see. And the uh, the blue frog, tree frogs, I want to do it in this style, except I'll do it this way so the tree that can be climbing the tree. So that's going to be on the blue frogs. Okay, so now let's get on to the projects. Well, I got to show my woodies here. <laughs> got to show my woodies. All right, so these are the Stabilio woodies, three in one. They're water soluble crayon they're really made for kids but we in the mixed media world use these and i like i said i have a few colors maybe six or eight of these but this one had some pearls and metallics it had, and had of course an extra black which you always can use the black oh thank you set cat and paste so i haven't opened it yet so it came a little bit crushed so we'll see how it looks let's go ahead and uh get a thing and open it here <clears throat> and uh of course i'm not keeping all this i won't i don't keep my stuff in this you know so um yeah just so but i wanted to show let y'all see what it looked like and i got them off of amazon and they're not cheap woodies are not cheap you'd think woodies would be cheap because they're made for kids really but i think they caught on that we mixed media people really like these let me just find a scratch piece of paper under here there we go <clears throat> and we will swatch the woodies we're going to swatch woodies i'm going to do my project which is really up two projects i'm doing two projects here and uh so let's go ahead and swatch swatch these and if y'all have any questions put it in caps Always space for faith. Oh, I like that. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down. It's really not funny. So I don't know if it goes in the wing nut book. I just like that. I'm going to write that down, Rachel. Always space for faith. See, and I see lots of possibilities in that. Let me put Rachel. You know, a space, outer space. Okay. <clears throat> all right so hi kathy arbor anybody else we're going to do something with flowers today kathy arbor if y'all don't follow kathy arbor she streams um a couple of times a week and she is an amazing gardener okay so let's go ahead and um it's in this plastic thing it does come with a brush and this is one thing that I really was liking about this because Stabilios are so fat. Well, the Woodies, the Stabilios, are the brand name, and there's tons of different Stabilio um, products. And, um, <clears throat> but, you know, this is my largest, where is it? I think this. So you can see. So just to have this sharpener to go with the woodies, I was happy. And I don't know anything about this brush. Um, it's, you know, hasn't been wet yet, so I'll just leave it like for now. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, 
swatch and where's a water brush i'm probably gonna go need to get some water in my let me grab some let me get some water in my water brush Let's watch these real quick. What's cool about these is they're they're just so good for mixed media. <laughs> and when Dee Dee's had her was happy. <laughs> hi, hi K and R B. All right, so let's start with the black one, and you can see how fat they are, right? And they don't weigh anything. They're like it's like the probably the cheapest wood that they could find. I mean, it's like they weigh nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and swap. I mean, um, I'll go ahead and put some on. And they're just smooth. They're just so smooth. I mean, they're just like light as a feather, and you can just do so much with them. Okay, there's black. Let's do brown. They feel they're, they're much smoother than a, um, like a Crayola crayon. They're much smoother than that. They're almost like a, a Neo Color 2 that smooth. I want to get a good coating there. And... I'll turn it over and do the other half. So what I say there's how many are in here? 12, 8, 18. Yeah, 18 colors. And I think I had maybe six at eight at the most. So. Oh, I didn't draw a line for that one. That's going to bother somebody, Rachel. Um, okay, so. <laughs> this is just on some cardstock. What's the difference between Woody's and Neo Color? Um, I'm guessing, and I, I'll do a little test. The Neo Color first off is going to be more expensive. Well, not maybe not for the this amount, but I don't know what the smallest set of a Neo Color is. Eight, maybe? I'm not sure because I have the big set, so I don't know. Um, I'm guessing, and we'll do a test. I am guessing that the um, Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons will dissolve better but we're, we'll do a test i'll i'll do uh, the neo colors going this way how about that and then there's a couple these are kind of like pearly pearlescent like i'm going to skip the white i'm going to skip the white and then here's gold <clears throat> and silver But we will do that. Um, I'll pull those out. That's a good question, though, uh, Pacola. I don't know if you were asking for somebody else asked, but okay. <clears throat> so let me get out my Neo colors. <clears throat> so we'll uh, go ahead and put close, you know, similar colors going the other way. Okay, now I'm going to tell you these are not cheap. If you get a full set like this, they are not cheap. But they last forever, I'm telling you. They just last forever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, here, wait. Let's write this on here. These are the Woodies. And these are the Neo 2. Now, also, make sure if you buy these or like these, make sure you buy the Neo Color 2. The Neo Color 1 are crayons like your just regular crayons they are not water soluble you have to make sure you get the two for the water soluble i think i spelled that right okay all right so let's go ahead so let me just go ahead and put um some of these colors all right let's just pick a brown i'm going to try to pick the closest color as i can okay and I'm going to tell you, these are going to be far more pigmented. I, I just know it because I just do. I mean, I know they are. 
All right, so let's see. Let's get a purple and then a regular blue. I think that's close. Eh, maybe one shade lighter. There we go. Light blue. Um, then even a lighter blue. Mm -hmm. That's a little purple. Maybe this one. No, I don't know. It's kind of in between those two. All right, then a lighter, lighter blue. Maybe this one. And then uh, kind of a minty green. Kind of close there. Maybe it needs to be maybe this one. It's kind of a combo of those two. And then a regular green. Okay, let's do the rest. A lime green. Nope, let's see. A little darker. No, nope, that was probably the closest. Lime green. Yellow. Orange. We still with the tour guys. We've got three different reds. I'm not sure which one's going to be the closest to that. Um, a let's see which one's probably, probably this one. Yeah, a red violet, and then let's see a pink. It's kind of in between the two. And then a flesh color. That might be, let's do one lighter. And then a gold and silver, and which I have in here somewhere. Is this it? No, that's yellow ochre. Where's gold and silver? No, where's silver? They're in here somewhere. There's bronze. Where's gold and silver? Hmm, I'm not sure where they are. Oh, here's silver. There's silver. Uh-oh, I, I forgot that the um, the metallics are a little uh, crunchy. <laughs> uh, no, uh, uh, no, 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 come on, baby. Nice try. This is not gold, though, is it? Is this gold? It looks kind of, I can't tell what color that is. What color is it? Yeah, it is gold. Okay, it's a different color gold. This is more of a yellow gold. This is more of a green gold. But I think we get the idea. Okay, so here we go. So again, you want to make sure you get Neo Color 2. See the Roman numeral 2? Water soluble. If you just get Neo Colors, whatever size, regardless of the size, Karn Dosh, um, you have to get the twos because they're the only ones that are water soluble. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's write this down here. These are the woodies and these are the Neo 2. All right, let me check uh, chat. Everybody, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about rejecting the cloud, Rachel, <laughs> my cat, but, uh, you know, Oh, that plastic bugs me. It's one of those cheap plastic. These are going to come out of here. They will be coming out. All right. So now let's get my water brush and let's see what we can do. Oh, I need a tissue to clean my brush off in between. Get a couple of tissues out the box. Oh, good. Kleenexes are the best to clean your br water brushes off while you're working. Okay, let's see. Hi, Melinda. Okay, so let's do a test here. So let's see. Woody's. Okay. Now, it's actually the, pay, the, the words coming through the paper. This is just, you know, thin card stock here. All right, so there we go. Now let's do the Neo color. Okay. I don't know if y'all, let, let me see if I zoom in. One. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see much difference just by looking at it. All right. Woody's. I'm squeezing out some water so you can see the lines. All right, so I squeezed out the water, okay? Or I'm squeezing out some water here. You see how much they just dissolve? There's no lines. 
but they're both good. I mean, you know, for the price. Okay. But this dissolves instantly, as you can see. I might, maybe I should have done this on watercolor paper or something a little better. Okay. <clears throat> and these are going to be probably more, I don't know, a couple of them look pretty vibrant. Okay. Okay, those uh I'm already out of water. Hang on. <laughs> Baby, what are you doing in the basket? I'm squeezing out a lot of water on these. <clears throat> All righty. Here's silver. Oh, I didn't do the gold on the other one. Neither metallics are one to want to move with the water. They just don't want to move with the water. Now this is already. <laughs> see, look, I kind of ruined it. I should have put it. Shouldn't have put it on two papers. All right. Let's see what we can do here. It's just for a sample, but, you know, now I didn't really want it sinking through. So while I'm doing this, I can just feel the, uh, the water salt, the Neo color moving really faster. Although this is doing okay. But look how much more pigment is in this. See how much farther I can drag that? There's just more pigment in the neo colors. See how this will only drag so far? And then the neo colors, there's just more more pigment to it. But the woodies aren't bad. And what's one thing nice about the woodies is they're um You can you can really put some pressure down with them. They're not going to snap. They're not going to break. So you can be a little bit rougher with them when you're you know doing mixed media. Okay, so all right. So if I'm like the neo, well, yeah. If but they're more expensive. You know, uh, I'm not sure. Now this set wasn't cheap. I think this was like forty bucks. So what does that come to? Two bucks each. Two, four, six, eight, ten. About, about two bucks each. The neo colors are probably closer to four dollars each. If you had to, now they're cheaper if you buy the whole set, right? If you buy the whole set, they're going to be cheaper. But just to buy, um, I think that set that I showed you, and I've had it for 10 years. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how much it costs now. But um, uh, it was probably $130 maybe, like 10 years ago. I don't know. All right. So there we go. So you can kind of get an idea. So I don't know if that was helpful, but there you are. So those are the woodies that I got to play with. Let me show you one of my journals where I have used the woodies. Like I think this one. Let me see. Yeah. That I haven't really, I haven't dissolved anything yet, but I just put, look, see the scribbles in here? This is, this is, um, this is uh, woody scribbles. So you, you, you just feel more free with them and more, 
you know, you don't feel uh, like you're going to snap them. You know, where the Neo colors, they're like a Crayola crayon. Well, that'll snap, right? These are not snapping. Snappy, no snappy. <laughs> where's, where's my snapping turtle, Pacola? So these are just more, um, you can just do more things, like more, you know, you can just, you can play more with these. You feel freer to play with these because they're not going to, you can put pressure on them. You can do what, 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 and you're not going to break. Okay, they're not going to break. Hi, Hermit's Tail. Car Carmen. Carmen. Good morning, Carmen. Hi, Kathy Burke. So, yeah. So, comparatively speaking, you know, these are about, if if you buy this set, it's 40 bucks for for 18 of them. Whereas, you know, the, the Neo Color 2s, I don't know how much a set of 18 of those would cost. Because I just have the big set. So anyway, you can see, and then you can, you know, you can play with these as well. You know, you can do things with um, the water brush, but you can also, let me get a baby wipe here. You can smear things, okay? You can smear them. Now, this is covered with matte medium, so I'm having a tendency to pull it off, lift it up, I mean, because it has matte medium on it. But, like, here's look at those white torn edges. See, I can go in here with a baby wipe, and uh, I can cover up all those white edges with, um, with it. If I rub real hard, I'll just lift it off. But you see how I can get rid of the white edges on things? Let's see here. Here's another one. Here's some green. Um, okay, so here's, see the white torn edge? So let's put some green. And then I can just, it'll cover up the white torn edges real easy. So that's like one of the benefits of it, of using, whether this is Neo Color or uh, the uh, woodies you can cover up your torn edges here's another torn edge here let's pick up some of this and just go around the torn edges <clears throat> okay so um um so all the wait let me go back here um suzanne allard okay so i don't know who that is i'll have to let me write her down i don't know who that is i don't think i mean i can't say that i've never seen because I go to a lot of YouTube channels, but I don't recognize a lot of people's names if I don't go there all the time. So I'll look her up. Thanks. I wrote her down, Julie. So, yeah, mix, a lot of mixed media people use them because overall they're really cheap. They're going to last a long time, you know. And again, this set came, this set came with the big uh, Stabilo. Now, I'm sure you can buy this separate. I'm sure you can buy these individually, but it came with it, so, with, and a brush. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Let's move my, I did uh, go through all my color pencils. I, I don't know if I want to, I don't really need, y'all know what bundles of pencils look like, but I did go through all my colored pencil, my, um, what do you call it, Prisma colors that I got from Mom and Uncle Gary and my sets and uh, bundled them all together. So they're all in bundles in that big tub. So next time I use the color pencils, you'll see they're all bundled for now. I don't know how long it's going to last, but they're bundled. Okay, so let's move Woody's out of the way. All right, so the projects that I want to do today, let me back out a little. I have two projects that I want to do. And thank you, um, who was it? I forgot who told me that it was Patty Lang sacred mementos now i'm gonna be honest she might not even know who i am because i don't really go to her channel but i happen to go to her channel or scroll by or her recording i think where she was doing um somebody help me out if you know patty lang and if you went to her auction where she did a um 
proceeds her her uh, proceeds from her sale she sent to Ukraine. I thought that was so nice. And it's a lot of work to do those kind of things, guys. It's a lot of work just to do an auction. It's a lot of work to do, you know, something like a charity something. And I thought that she needs a she needs a gift. <laughs> so um, again. You know, I'm going to make this. She may or may not want it. I haven't talked to her. She doesn't know I'm going to do it. She may not know me. I don't know. But I'm going to do a mini book. And I might just start with this one first. We have time. I'm going to do a mini. Um, and this was gifted to me by the person who does not want to be named. <laughs> and uh, she uh, she does gift me and um, Mary, uh, not Annie V, but somebody else, gifts um, us stuff on our birthdays. And, and uh, anyway, so I am going to do this book for Patty Lang. And then we'll see how much time we have. I want to do this one. I want to do this one in a big collage floral for me. But my pro my project for this one is I want to do it with blue and yellow sunflowers okay so that's the product but we'll do this one first so and again i have to get I, I don't even know how to send it to her get it to her whatever we'll figure that out but i just thought that it would be <laughs> yeah i thought it would be nice to give back to patty lang who did the and i couldn't even remember her name this morning guys i just knew that she had done the ukraine um help so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to paint this and we're going to do yellow um, sunflowers on it. And then what I do when I do these, let me get one. So I get past the cat here. Um, let me find one or two of my other ones down here. I varnish them. So let's see here. So here's one that I did. It's okay, baby. Here's one where I did a faux leather on this one. These are all the exact same, same books as this. Okay. All right. So I did a faux leather on this one. And it's, it's all beat up. I mean, it's a some years old. But I did a faux leather and see the shine, the varnish. So I will varnish them. Oh, I have a couple other things to show. We'll save that for later. We'll see how far we get to them. And uh, here's another one that I did of my, see the varnish that I did collaged on. This one was from 2016. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna do one, a new one, and I'm gonna do florals on it, right? Just all kinds of florals, but we'll see if we get to it today because I really wanna do this one. All right, so let's move these out of the way. And I have a couple other things I want to show you if we get to it. I have this color book I want to show. And I got this at a yard sale this weekend. <laughs> Janet, one of the, the ladies in the neighborhood was set, had a big yard sale. And I got a spire. I haven't even opened it. I don't even know if all the pieces are in there. But she sold it for $1.50. So even for the graphics of the box, if there was nothing in there, and I know there is, I would buy this for $1.50 just for the, the uh, box. <laughs> so uh, we'll try to show those two in a little bit all right so now let me get a piece of wax paper here and what i want to do first is i'm going to paint um i wonder if i should prime it first with some white i really want a dark you know kind of a really you know, true blue i want the true blue for it because it'll show up better <laughs> Is that too light of a blue? What do y'all think? Does it need to be a little darker blue? But let's see if this one's any different. Yeah, I think this one. Okay. So we're going to do paint it blue. I know, spiral graph. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to roll up the sleeves a little bit. And I need to, I don't really want to get the inside all painty. So I really want to try to keep it as clean as I can on the inside. Can't promise anything, but let's see, I might need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a bigger, let me get some more wax going. <laughs> Sorry, Malibu. I scared her with the wax paper. 
All right, so I want to, you know, paint it. And, of course, you have to, you know, the, this gets in the way, but I'll do my best. All right, so let's do the front. Then we'll do the back. We're going to paint it all blue. And then we're going to just cut out sunflowers. We're going to matte medium these on, front and back. And then I'll varnish it, okay? So it'll be all shiny and protected. All right, but let's start with, let me get a palette over here. All right, here we go. I need some baby wipes to keep my hands clean. So anyway, I just thought it'd be nice to give back to one of our uh, creatives that was doing something uh, generous in her own right, okay? This is nothing really, guys. It's really not anything compared to what, you know, she was doing. So let's get a brush. Get it wet. All right, so let's see what we can do. And I'm going to kind of take my time, okay? Putting on your stomping slippers. Get those <laughs> off. Thanks, Rachel. All right. So I am just going to kind of take my time. And when you don't want to get it, you know, go over the edge, you want to be careful with it. You don't want to take your paint full of paint and go this way. Because if I come down like this with all that paint, it's going to go right over the edge. So what you want to do is go like that, right? You want to go out like this. So that you're not putting... You're not putting a wad of paint over the edge. So you have to just make sure that you think about that and just go like out. And then you won't get it over the edge. It might go, you know, to the little lip, but that's fine. That would probably be best. But you don't want to go this away. You just want to keep picking up and going out like that. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. So if you all have any questions or anything, put it in caps. It may take two coats. We'll see how much it absorbs in. And um, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put sunflowers all over the yellow sunflowers. And um, I just thought it'll be well. It'll be from all of us. It'll be from the fibs. I don't know what she calls her group. And so I'm sure some of y'all go to her group and go to you know here as well. So, um, I just don't, I'm not part of her group, you know, am I painting an insert, an insert? You mean, am I painting the inside? No, I'm not painting the inside. I'm just painting the outside, but I'm not sure if that's the question you're asking, Carmen. I'm not sure if that's what you, you're asking me. And I'm, again, I'm making sure I'm just flicking out on the edge. I'm not going this way. If I go this way with it, I'm going to pull paint to the back. And again, it may take two coats. <clears throat> oh, it's a journal cover. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't, I, I thought you might have, I didn't know you didn't see that. Yeah, it's a journal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get it right to as far as I can here. And then I'm going, I'm holding this down that I'm going to dry this. That way I can put the rubber band up on top of a dry area. So let's see how well we can do this. Okay, so while I'm holding that, let me dry this. I could have done the rubber band the other way, too, but either way, it's going to be on the book. Okay, so now let's move this. Go this away. Okay, now let's dry that. Let's keep going. Uh 
I'm kind of taking my time, guys. I want it to be neat. If it was just for me, I don't care if it's that neat. Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all don't care. Y'all know I don't care if it's that neat for me. And most of this is going to be covered up with flowers anyway. But I'm thinking maybe, a, maybe this does need another coat. Let's see. And again, I'm making sure not to bring the brush this away so that I drag the paint over the lip. Okay. All right, let's dry. Are y'all buffering? Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about that, y'all. Okay. If y'all hear tapping outside, the neighbor across the street is getting a new roof. So far, it hasn't been that loud. I opened the window so I could hear the birds. If it gets too loud, I'll close the window. So now let's move this out. So see how clean it is on the inside? It didn't come over the edge because I flicked it out and not over the edge. So I think we can, let's make sure that all this is clean here. And what I want to do now is do the other side. Same thing. Got the big Ranger embossed logo there. So just take our time and do a good job. Thanks everybody for being here. I'll show that other color book and the uh, spiral graph in a little bit. This won't take that long. It won't take that long after we cut the flowers out and everything. So again, I want to go this way. I haven't seen Devin this morning, but if y'all uh, did, y'all see Devin Rex did a tour of her craft room, her art space over the weekend it's nice it's a nice room she's probably at work today so but look up devon rex for art the number four i don't know if pacola has a handy link but i always i always put it on pacola i always put it on pacola and um but anyway she did an awesome art room tour showed all the drawers and everything it was nice all right, so let's go ahead and dry this so I can. Okay, so now let's go. This one, see, there's a little bit of paint on it. Can't really be a help. It's underneath, so you ain't going to see it anyway. But still, I'm trying to be as neat as I can. Y'all know I'm not. The neatest person. I just, I like to just go for it. <laughs> so to try to be extra neat is a little tricky for me. All right, there we go. Let's do the under there. All right. 
Thank you, Bacola. Okay, so one little spot right there. Okay. So y'all want to talk about anything y'all did over the Easter weekend? Did y'all get to visit family? We didn't do, you know, we Denise is uh, in New York. I showed y'all her picture earlier. She's uh, living her best life. So we didn't get together with the kids. Boo's still down in Florida in school. No. There's Devin. Devin, we were just talking about you. Pacola put in a link to your, your room tour. Very nice. That was very, very, um, very nice room. And you're so organized, too. Very organized. If y'all want some organizational tips, then y'all need to go watch Devin's, Devin's room tour. All right, so let me go ahead and dry this. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Fernando. Okay, so let me look at it. It looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more right up in here. Hang on. I want to make sure it's coated well, even though it's going to be really covered up with flowers. But along the edges. And again, I'm going to varnish it so it'll be protected. So the flowers aren't going to fall off and the paint's not going to chip. Right? Right. Oops, I gotta be careful not to go the wrong way on that. Okay, I think that's good. Go ahead and dry it. Hi, Matt. Anybody else I missed? Make sure it's really good and dry. Clean my hands here. All righty. So, again, if you're just joining me, I'm doing this to give to Patty Lang sacred mementos. And again, you know, I don't really follow her, but I know she did an, um, a uh, um, a sale where the proceeds of her sale went to the Ukraine. So. Um, that's all I know. So I thought we would do a little thank you for her on with this. Let me move the paint out of the way. Yeah. Let me get my scissors. Sip of juice. Okay. Make sure all the paint's off my hands. And now while I'm cutting, I can read chat a little better. So I'm going to cut out all these sunflowers, and I might see if there's even more sunflowers. We might need more. I don't really want that little bitty one, but I think there's some rows. Row of sunflowers. Let's see. Those are mums, right? Aren't those mums? I don't know my flowers. Where's Kathy? Kathy Arbor. Let's see if there's any row of sunflowers. Look, those look kind of distorted. They look kind of stretched. I think we're going to stick with these. I really like these. I want I want all pretty ones. All right, so I'm just going to start by cutting down the 
cutting them down and then we'll fussy cut. It won't take too long. I'll, I'll chat with you. Chat with you while we go. Gerbers. Gerbers. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Gerber daisies. Okay, and then I'm probably going to cut down this. I don't know if I'm going to have stems or just um, flowers. I'm not going to, I mean, I'll lay them all out and everything, you know. Okay, so we're going to cut. All right, so this is the front. So I'm probably going to want like these. If I put stems, I think I should just draw the stems if I put stems. I'm not loving these stems, but I think these two could stay together. All right, let's see. All right, so I'm going to start. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going <laughs> to, I can read chat here. I just stopped twisting the, you know, cutting while I, I look up and read chat. So, yeah. So I might leave these two together. I just don't know if I want stems or not, or if I just want some. You know, and I don't know if this is going to be enough front and back because I want to put, do front and back. So I'm not loving the stems, so I'm getting rid of those. Can y'all see okay? Teach your voice. Listen, most of the paper, not, yeah, move the paper, not the scissors. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Move the move the paper because then you you're all all I'm doing with the scissors at this point is just doing this and the paper and moving the paper. You know, you get a much more precise cut if you do that. And just let you know, cut off the excess like that. Now, when I do a floral on my journal of just all florals, if I get to that today, um, I'll probably tear, <laughs> I'll probably tear around the flowers and then paint in them, paint them in. But this is because this is a gift, you know, I want to do it more precise. But for me, I don't mind just tearing and then painting painting in the areas rather than trying to cut in them so we'll see which way it goes i might do a, a little of both a little cutting and a little tearing on mine so i am probably missed if anybody talked about anything exciting they did over the weekend if you want to say it again or you know y'all can talk about amongst yourselves what you did, what you worked on, like Devin's art room tour. It was awesome. <clears throat> so I got a little bit of cutting in there. Now, this is a kind of thing where you can either paint in there or you can go in there and cut, you know, depending on what the project is. I'm just trying to have some kind of conversation while I do this. So did anybody go to Patty Lang's <clears throat> auction when she did the auction? Like I said, I just saw that she was having it. I wasn't I wasn't a part of it. So anybody here that went to it or anybody that goes to her channel regularly? I just thought it was a nice thing for her to do. You just finished one of your altered book pages and posted it. Oh, well, let's just look. Let's look, Fernando. Let's get over to IG and take a peek. <laughs> okay. So let me go. Let me. Oh, it looks good, but I want to I want to skip back for a minute. So. Fernando, this is how the first thing I saw Fernando's when I first started following it was this gorgeous painting of a, a lemon. 
and he did not post anything for some months. And I was on, and well, we all were. Fernando, we love that lemon, but you need to post something else. So then he finally he just a, a watercolor kind of watercolor in uh, this uh, Deborah, the Debbie McCumber coloring book. And then he did these cherries. And now he did this. Awesome. There's a close up of it. Awesome, Fernando. <laughs> Isn't that good, guys? So go follow Fernando. There's his IG. Making lemonade. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? Did anybody else post anything? I showed Cat and Pace. If y'all missed seeing Cat and Pace's beautiful coloring page she did over the weekend, y'all missed out. I showed it, but y'all need to go follow Cat and Pace. And Devin probably has a link to her channel in her um, in her IG too. All right, so there's a couple ways you can do this. I don't ever recommend it like just poking in there and trying to cut around. It's better if you can like come in and just get in there and because once you glue it down, you're not going to see where you might have cut over a petal. see I cut into a petal but once it's glued down you're not going to notice that the other thing that you can do is um, paint into it like I could go in there with blue paint and put blue in those little spaces there I'm just going to leave it like that for now so all right let's see let's do this big one here oh uh, thank you Pacola Pacola put Fernando's IG link Hi, Lucette. Who else am I missing? Okay, get your tea, Pacola. She deserves her tea. She works hard. Not that the other mods don't, <coughs> Janet. Uh, but <laughs> I have to tease Janet. Uh, but uh, and Janet, what are you going to do today on your show? Janet streams at 1, 1 Eastern. I usually try to get done by 12, and then there's we have a break of about an hour before she comes on at one. I don't do squats. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks, Debbie. Yeah. And that's like, you know, let's just say you have someone that has their arm on their hip, their hand on their hip. And you need to cut that space out in between the arm here. You can just go through their arm and cut it out because um, you're going to glue that all back together, right? You're going to glue it all back together when you lay it down. And it's a, you're going to have a much neater cut than if you try to poke in there and try to, you know, maneuver around a little opening like that. It's much easier just to have it cut that you won't notice when it's glued back. So this, I might put, I don't know, maybe just, maybe like this on the back, like just two on the back and most of them on the front. We'll see. I don't know yet. I'm going to cut them all out. <laughs> You're not sure, Janet? Have you been working um, in your travelers, your, your travelers, a.k.a. Beast 2? Have you done any in that? lately or are you still sticking with the beast you can't give up the beast <laughs> that's what janet calls her diary or everyday uh journal won't this be pretty guys it looks a little white there because it's like a reflection and i will cut those little white things out there <clears throat> and i can move a little faster but uh i'm trying to do it pretty neat
Janet does good watercolors. I always like it when she does watercolors. <clears throat> I did a zine last week trying to decide if I should show it or let you. Oh! Do you, what, what's a zine topic? Well, you know I at least want a copy of it. I collect Janet zines. She makes amazing zines. She makes most of them like a newspaper, like a little mini newspaper, the gazettes and, you know, different, different uh, newspaper. And uh, they're so awesome. They're so detailed. Her writing is just amazing. And uh, what's the topic of this one? <clears throat> I didn't know you were making a new zine. I was out of the loop on that, Janet. What's the topic? Oh, the monsters. I didn't know you were going to do a zine. I knew you were doing your monsters in the, in the, uh, what do you call it? Um, in the beast. Monsters in the beast. A monster zine, will you make their little, will you give them little uh, personalities and names and characters? Oh, that's going to be awesome. I want one. I want one. And everybody else is going to want one, too. You're going to have to do a giveaway. You're going to have to make people work for that one. <laughs> make them post something. <laughs> oh, it was a secret. Okay. So how far have you got in it? Have you laid it out? Have you started? I know you've already drawn a bunch of the monsters because I saw those. But I didn't know they were going in a zine. That's going to be cool. Good plan. She does make great zines. I have quite a collection of her zines. I'm getting there, guys. Be patient. We'll do a giveaway after a while. And like I said, some of these are going to they're going to overlap. Some will be on the front. Some will be on the back. Do I want to separate these two? I'm not. I just don't like the. I think I'm going to separate these two. If I want them to overlap, I'll just overlap them because I think they need to. This one has orange, and I'm just kind of thinking they need to be laid out differently. There we go. <clears throat> that was the idea. You know, you'll get one. Oh, I know, but still. Oh, Kalora made you do it? Becky made you do a zine? Good for you, Becky. Now, Becky, tell her, um, because I made you do one, I get one. <laughs> Make her give you one. <laughs> I went looking at printers this weekend, because I'm, I'm just thinking of that, because Janet's always looking at new printers and stuff, too, so... I went looking at, of course, not, there, there's no printers in stock. You have to order them all from, you know, wherever, warehouse. I just looked at Office Depot. And uh, so if any of y'all have a printer, preferably an Epson, although it doesn't have to be, but I looked at some Epson ones that have the dye-based ink so that you, it's an inkjet. I, I don't want a laser printer. Um, an inkjet printer that has dye-based ink that you can like matte medium over and it won't run. Does anybody, you have one. And, it, and would you recommend an Epson if you do have one? I'll, uh, I'll, leave, I'll let y'all uh, talk printers for a minute. I just have a, an, I have a nice inkjet printer just for doing my photos and stuff, but it's not dye based ink that, and it'll run, you know, although there's all kinds of, you know, hacks you can do and, you know, to make it so that it's not, doesn't run. I know printers are impossible and there's so many and just, and when you look them up, like I tried to look up dye-based ink jet printers and all this stuff, Googled them and searched them and I did all kinds of things with it. And oh my gosh, it's impossible. It is impossible. Yeah, well, that's gonna, that's for sure, Janet. Um, to decide, you just need, you need someone to recommend it, you know, that they have one, they've used it, they like it. So if y'all, um, 
if you're a lurker and uh, you don't want to be in chat, then leave me a leave me a message on recommendations for Epson printers. Now you know now that I'm talking about it, you know that's all the ads I'm going to get on social media now. I'm going to get 50 ads on printers because I said the word. The word is the bird is the word. <laughs> You talk about something and uh, it's uh, you'll have it on your feed for a month of Sundays. You will have it in your feed. Almost done. Just got a couple more. Um, and I no idea. I hate my obscenities. Well, if you don't know, it's probably just a regular inkjet, unless it's brand new or something, Devin. I know, right, Judy? So, yeah. I'll just leave the other one downstairs and do a Bluetooth up here for the for a new one. All right, just a couple more. A couple more sunflowers. And again, if y'all missed it, I'm doing this... Uh, Doing this little journal, blue and yellow sunflowers for uh, Patty Lang's sacred mementos. Who um, she did a she did a uh, auction, and the proceeds went to. And I don't know even know what which foundation she sent it to or how she donated it, but she gave money to the, for the Ukrainian um, situation. And uh, so I thought it would be nice just to give back for her doing that. That's a lot of work to do an auction and then do an auction with a uh, charity involved is even more so. So. Stove. Yeah. Well, I had to replace my stove just last Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I had to replace my stove. So I think it's, um, well, I'm just having it be from all the fibs, Devin. You know, I mean, it's something like if we all could do it, we probably would. You know, but it's a lot of work and a lot of research and a lot of, you know, and I don't do auctions anyway, so I wouldn't, you know. I go to Keisha's auctions when I want to when I want to go buy stuff at an auction, but uh, I just thought it was so nice of her to you know do that. So she's really the nice one, not me. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just trying to give back a little, but she's the one that did all the work. So go, you know, you can go support her channel too. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, the birds. Yeah, that, I wanted to open my window so I could hear the birds this morning. But then you have to also listen to the tapping of the the uh, family across the streets getting a new roof. It doesn't bother me. I just I, I it's like ASMR. It's just like a background noise I, unless it's like really loud or something, you know. But just slight tapping out there with the birds singing doesn't bother me. If it bothers y'all, let me know. But you know. <laughs> I don't think it's that loud myself. I hear the birds more than the tapping. Hear the birds? We have a bird feeder and a bird bath in our front yard <coughs> in one of those, you know, decorative around your trees with the mulch in it kind of thing. So, yeah, we have a bird feeder right there. Okay, there we go. We got them all done. All right, let's pick all this up. Let's see if we can lay this out. We got some matte medium. We'll glue it down. Sip of juice. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to show y'all this. I put my, uh, I'm going to picture. I 
So I put my fabrics and the, some buckets and stuff down, baskets down on the floor. Well, y'all know what I'm going to show y'all, don't you? <laughs> the fabrics that I showed y'all earlier. This is what's right behind me. <laughs> That's what's going on behind me. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, it is. It's very peaceful. It's so peaceful. I hardly ever see any, but once in a while I see a, a jogger, a walker. There's nobody. And when I say a walker, I don't mean like uh, I don't mean like a Walking Dead walker. <laughs> Although they filmed that just like five miles from my house, they filmed the Walking Dead, at least a big chunk of it, like right down the street. And what they do is like it's right off a high. The highway splits off, and you can go this way down to the racetrack to or the Atlanta Motor Speedway. You can go right down here this way, or you have to go. And they put a deep. What they do is they put road work signs. Road work. And the policeman is there and you can't get through when they're filming. Well, one day, how we figured it out. Well, there's a couple ways we figured it out. But one of the ways we figured it out was some years ago after um, they took down the road work signs and you could go that way. There's a big giant sign that goes, welcome to Florida. <laughs> that they used, to, you know, was in The Walking Dead. Welcome to Florida. And we went, uh-huh. Welcome to Florida, I, a.k.a. The Walking Dead movies or series. So, <laughs> yeah, a cloud in a bucket, right, Kristen? A cloud in a bucket, yeah. So anyway, yeah, they film they film right down the street from me, and uh, yeah, I've never really tried to sneak down in there. We've gone down to, um, you know, um, what you call it has a restaurant down there, and uh, there's about maybe twenty miles away to the city where they do some filming in a little town and he has a restaurant there. Um, but I quit watching. I'm just going to be honest. I quit watching uh, walking dead when they uh, killed off Glenn, the way they killed him off. That was it for me. So no more. I haven't, wa I haven't watched the walking dead since. So not, not dissing on y'all who do watch it. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Let's see what we want to do. How we want to do this. Do I want some? Let's see here. I'm just going to play for a minute, guys. Because remember, there's a strap here that, you know, goes back and forth. So I don't want anything right there on that line. Not that it would really matter because I'm going to varnish it. So let's see. Something like this. Do I want two up here or just one? I'm not loving the ones with the red in the center. So I think I'll forgo those. I think that one's a little different color yellow. Do I just want the one? What do y'all think? Just the one or two? Should have one or two right there. Or should I add? I just don't really want to cover up this nice big one there. Like that. One or two up here, guys. And then we'll do the back, too, with the whatever's left. But these two, I don't like with the red in the middle. So we're not going to use those. Okay. <clears throat> two like that. So do you like it like this, guys? What do you all think? Something like that. Okay. How's that look? It's a little, let me turn down the brightness because it is getting bright out there and it flashes out a little. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's truer to color. All right, everybody's saying two. Okay, let me get out some matte medium. I did get them a new bed too. I'm really saving that picture for next Saturday. <clears throat> and I use golden matte medium, put a uh, plastic bag over the lid because otherwise you'll glue the lid to the jar. 
Um, but I'll show y'all. <clears throat> I got him a new bed this weekend. It's big. It's real. It's real tall. It's like this tall. It's, it's you know the other ones I have are kind of about that tall. This one's like this tall. So she's really sitting. <laughs> and there's room for both of them in there. It's there's plenty of room over here. You can't really see how much space. But this will be next Saturday's Catter Day. <laughs> okay, so let me get a glue brush. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to do this carefully and we'll dry it and we'll glue on the others and make sure go, when, when I'll probably set it aside and make sure it's like cold to, you know, it's done really glue. I mean, really uh, done before I varnish it. Okay. So And again, I'll put a nice coat, but I don't want to go over the edge. I want to be careful not to go over the edge. Okay. Get my... And also, because this paint, let me get a fresh card. That one's a little. Um, because this paint can scratch off, you want to be careful when you're doing this part because now it won't scratch off after I matte medium it. But I want to be careful not to dig into this blue paint and uh, have it, uh, you know, peel, scratch it. Because I could dig my fingernail in that and take that paint off. Hi, Cassie. So, um, so I'm just going to try to lay everything down. And I can move everything around a little bit. While it's nice, you know, while it's wet. I think I do want to move that up a little bit up here. And then this one right there. Let's put this one up underneath as well. Like that. Taking my time. Smoothing this out. Okay. And again, I'm going to varnish it. All right. Now, let's go ahead and dry this. little note i won't write in it but i'll put a little note you know a little post-it note in here that tell tells her thank her thanks her for doing the ukraine auction and from the fibs you know we'll do that all right so i think that's dry so i can turn it over here now let's lay out these last ones and i won't cover up the ranger because that might put a dent in the flowers and so we'll see. Maybe just kind of going up around like this, maybe. Maybe like that. Kind of going up like that. What do y'all think? How's that look? Kind of going like this. Whoops. Kind of like that. What do y'all think? I think that looks good. All right. I'm going to roll with it. One right here. I think I'll leave a space like that. And this one right up here. Okay. 
do it gently here and then just kind of make it smooth it dries clear so and i'm going to put varnish over it so okay so what is that right there okay i know right right carmen okay let's try <laughs> I thought, I thought, Devin. It's 10.30 and we're going to go ahead and do the giveaway. We don't do a giveaway. I try to do a giveaway a week. Okay, there's just some, it's not, I don't know what it is. I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit of that blue paint on my finger and just kind of some little white something there. Okay, there we go. That's true. That's right, Rachel. If you're here, you're a friend in the box. All right, so I am going to, because I'm going to do the next, my book in a minute with the flowers. I'm going to wrap this up and uh, so we can, I don't have to put it back and keep this as long as it doesn't dry. Set this aside. And uh, I want to varnish this, but I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes. Make sure it's nice and just settled in. And uh, then the varnish I use is... Use the Delta Ceram Coat. Gloss, interior, exterior, water base, water base, very important, water base. Otherwise, you're going to be getting out turpentine and all kinds of stuff. Water base, you just rinse your brushes out with water. So, water base varnish. Now, you don't need the Ceram Coat, this brand, but whatever kind you get, make sure it is water based. Okay, get it in the craft store. This is usually sold over there by the paints and Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that in a minute. So I'm going to set this aside. And when it's all varnished, you know, let me show the one I showed earlier. Like here's one of my ones. That, this is from 2000. And when did I do start this one? 16. I'm not sure. 2016. I think I started this one. So you can see what it looks like when it's varnished. It's all protected. See? So, yeah, 2016. Although this is a little beat up on the side. We, we're, this is a, a well-loved, well-loved journal. And this is the same one that I'm getting ready to do here in a minute. A new one. I'm going to do a new one. But I'm going to do this one with florals instead of my usual kind of space collage. I'm going to do a floral one. Although this is tempting to do one like this. Flowers and space. Mm, I don't know. So let's find a couple pages to show that are done. And I usually varnish these too, but uh, they, they get varnished in, incre you know, in increments. Like this one's varnished, this one's not, you know. So this is from 2016. This one's from 2016. So... I'm just kind of going through and picking out some of the, some, you know, I've got a lot in here that's not done, but this is what I'm heading for. This right here, this look, a varnish. All right, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and do the giveaway. So let me find it. Y'all know I bought a whole bunch of uh, books, well, a whole bunch, four or five, uh, books on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And, uh, Let's see. Let's brighten this back up. When I put something white under here, it gets dark. Um, so I bought, like this book normally was six fifteen dollars and I got it for $3.74. So I got a, quite a few, four or five, books like this for giveaways. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to give away this one. Now, I don't send the, the it can't be international. Um, if you, um, we'll do a separate international drawing and what I'll do is I'll send a print, one of my prints 
and some collage fodder for international in an envelope, you know. Let me um, pick something here. Let me get an envelope. And let's see. And if you have, if you win and you have this one, if you have this print, then I'll I'll pick another print. Okay, so we'll do this print and some collage fodder. We'll do two separate giveaways. This will be for international and uh, a print and some collage fodder. And then U.S. only is a book. So let me just kind of flip through this real quick. I did do a flip. Well, let's go this way because the light. So, but it's called the plant lady. And she, it's a girl that does, you know, different plant situations. <laughs> but uh, it's a really nice color book. I really liked it. So we'll do this for U.S. Again, it's just because of the shipping. You know, it doesn't make sense to pay $15. I mean, um, a $15 book that I pay $3 for and then have to spend $25 on shipping. So this will be for U.S. only. Hang on. Get a couple of things here. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to do two separate giveaways. All right. Pay attention. <clears throat> pay attention. So um, when I type in go, you're going to put in a number between 1 and 100, one number only. We're going to do two separate ones. First, we'll do U.S., and we'll do the other one, okay? It's just easier that way. Let me get over to random.org. Let's see. Random.org. Okay. So over at random.org, here's the little generator between 1 and 100. It's the first person closest without going over one number only. Wait till I type in go, USA only. And again, guys, I got I got to tell you, you know, if you don't put your name, don't don't play if you're not going to send me your address and let me know. OK, it doesn't happen often, but um, yeah, <laughs> don't play. If I, if you don't want me and I don't share your addresses with anybody, not even the fellow mods, I don't uh, put you on a mailing list, none of that, but I do have to have a place to send your winning, you know, if you win it. Okay. So wait, can you see my go one number only between one and 100 you, this is for us only now, right? Okay. Us only. Okay. All right, let me take a sip of juice while y'all do that. Don't dilly-dally, dawdle, or lollygag. <laughs> I want to get my list up longer. <laughs> so, oh, Malibu, her little head's kind of hanging over the lip of that basket. It's too small for her. It's not that big of a basket, but it's flexible, so she's laying in it. Oh, my goodness. So, all right, get your numbers. I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, here we go. 50. Whoever's closest to 50 without going over. Okay. 50. Without going over. And I'll scroll back to and everybody else. You need If you want to see the exact order, make sure you have your live chat selected and refresh your chat if you want to see the exact order. Okay. That me and the mods will see. Okay, I'm scrolling back as well. Closest to 50 without going over. I see some that got close to 50, but they went over. Shelly Allred had 46. Let me scroll back. Let me scroll back and double check if there's nobody else that had closer. 46. Okay, it looks like Shelly Allred. Okay, Shelly, and I'm pretty sure I have your address unless you moved or something. 
but it's easier for me if you send it again. <laughs> it's easier for me if you send it again. Okay, Shelly Allred. Okay, congratulations, Shelly. There you go. You won the Plant Lady color book. All right, next we're going to do U.S. only. And again, if you um, win this international, uh, I'm going to throw in some, you know, stickers and a faux femora and stuff like that. But if I've already sent you this exact print before, then I'll pick another one for you. So, all right. So this is international. Same rules apply. Wait till I type in go. When I type in go, put in one number between one and 100. First person closest without going over to the new number generated. I'll send you the print, the mermaid print. Well, she's not really a mermaid. She's underwater, underwater girl. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thanks, Shelly. Okay. International. International only. Okay. International only between one and 100. Then we're going to varnish this one. And then we're going to start on this one. And, oh, I got to show you. I'll show you the spiral graph in that other color book, too. We'll varnish, and then I'll show you that other color book and the spiral graph. Then we'll do the other one. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let me go back over to random.org. And pick a new number. All right. So 50 was for the U.S. Here we go for international. 76. First person closest to 76 without going over. Oh, Fernando, you had 77. Oh, my gosh. Fernando, you had 77. 76. First person closest to 76 without going over. <laughs> uh <laughs> who was it? international international miss the U yes you missed the u.s carla i just did it okay so rachel had 49 all right rachel do you have this one if you have this one rachel i will um i'll send a different one because i don't remember who i've sent what to do you have this print, Rachel? Let's see. Send it to Fernando. How about I send y'all each one? I'll get another one. Rachel, I'll send, unless you have this one, Rachel. If you have this one, I'll, I'll send you a different one. Here. Okay, we'll send one to Fernando and one to Rachel. Okay, so Rachel and Fernando. Now, Fernando, have I ever sent you anything? Do I have your address? I don't remember. Do I have your address? I'm, I'm sure I've sent you something, haven't I? Okay, so uh, I have Rachel's address. So, Rachel, you have this one? All right, wait a minute. Let me see. Hang on, Rachel. Hang on. Let's see what else I got over here. I'm looking. Hang on, Rachel. Um, do you have the peace sloth, Rachel? Do you have the peace sloth? <clears throat> Actually, Fernando might rather have a peace sloth. I'll let y'all pick. Okay. All right. Hang on. Let me check here. You, yep, you do. I have your address. Okay. Fernando, which I'll just send you both of them, Fernando. Okay. So, Fernando, I'm going to send you both of these. It's not going to cost me any more to send you an extra one. So, these go to Fernando. Um, do you have this one, Rachel? 
Love the peace lock. Okay. All right. And you have this one. Okay. There we go. All right, guys. There we go. All right. I'll get all that out. Um, if not tomorrow, by Thursday. Because I stream on Wednesday. So we'll see. Either tomorrow, I'll either mail them out tomorrow or Thursday. Go out this week. Congratulations. Okay, there you go. All right, so now I want to go ahead and varnish. So I want to be careful that it's because of this thing here, you know, that I want to kind of, because this doesn't dry. How am I going to do this? I don't remember how I did the other one. I probably didn't care if it stuck and I just... <laughs> remember i think i put something right there just to hold it up a little what did i put i'm trying to remember what i did when i did the other when i varnished the other ones because i have to put something right there after i varnish it so, both sides so it doesn't stick to the varnish because i can't really heat set this it has to kind of sit overnight maybe let me see a piece of a, let me find an old paintbrush. That'll work. So it just needs to pop up just the tiniest bit. Let me get an old paintbrush here out of my old sets of stuff. Let me get a small one. Hang on, guys. Here's one. Okay, so I'm going to get a crappy, crappy old paintbrush. And what I'll do is I'll cut this, because I don't remember how I did the other one. Put the elastic to the bottom and do in halves. Well, it doesn't matter if I put it to the bottom. It's still in halves either way, right? It doesn't matter either way. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to cut this paintbrush. Let me see if I can cut. There we go. But I don't need that much. I just need a little piece. I need, whoop, that one flew across. I just need three little pieces. Okay. So what I'll do is as after I varnish, I'll put just this little piece of a little piece of a uh, paintbrush there on the side and on the back. Well, I can't do the back anyway. I only can do one side at a time. So we're only going to do the front side anyway. All right. So let's go ahead get another piece of wax paper. Put this in here. And this is just the little Dilusions, Ranger Dilusions journal. What's nice about these is they lay flat because the spine is not attached. See how that works? And it's got the pocket. Okay, so we're going to put this here. And I'm only going to do half anyway. So after I do that, I'll hold this up. And then I'll put a little piece of the wood, like just like that, just to hold it up a little bit. You know, a couple of spots. I think that'll work, hopefully. <laughs> Kathy, okay, I just printed on my Epson Eco Tank and brush mat me over and it did not smear. So Echo Echo Tank, is that the dye-based ink? Let me write that down, Kathy. Yeah, inkjet. I need an inkjet printer that has the dye-based ink. And if if the Echo ta Eco Tank ones i'll have to put a question dye based i'm not sure if that's the dye based ink jet it's in the workforce line yeah i want an epson yeah i do want an epson okay so don't don't why don't you open the oh Open the book and do the whole thing. Hello. And then this is loose. Maybe that's how I did the other one. <laughs> Hello. Who get who said that? Who did say that? Um, Kathy Carney. Kathy Carney, you're getting a I'm sending you a print. You, you deserve something for that. <laughs> killers. Kathy Carney. I'm going to send you a print for, for the idea. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Yes. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Okay. So, and then that's really loose here too. So it's not going to, you know, it's touching, but it's not going to be tight. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I think of that? Awesome. Awesome. 
Okay, so let's see. Hi, Tina. Welcome back. Uh, some peace law. Peace law. Okay, I'm getting you the peace law. Hang on. Let me grab a peace law for Kathy. All right. Peace sloth it is, Kathy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, all right, so can one of the mods grab the bot or the troll, whichever one it is? Or do I need to do it? Do I need to do it? Block user. See if that'll work. And air okay, I can't block on StreamYard. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> Can somebody get rid of those for me? Where's my mods? Reported. Okay, got him. Thank you, Janet, because I still see them. I still see them there. I want to get rid of it. Okay, thank you, guys. All right, so, Kathy, thank you for that idea. We don't have too many trolls. And bot in the bot situation with YouTube seems to have been taken care of. All right, so I want to get another little tray here. So what I'm going to do with how I usually, this is how I usually do my matte medium, like on an art card or something. Um, I will just pour it on the little art card and just move, smear it around with my finger. When it's something larger like this, now let me see if I can find a foam, foamy brush. You really need a foam brush. Do I have one? Watch me not have a foam brush. Because I usually don't keep them long because they don't last long. But let me see if I have one. Do I have a foamy brush? Ah, I do. Okay. You want to use a foam brush because it won't leave the kind of... If you use a regular paint brush, it's going to leave streaks, paint brush streaks. Thank you, Bacola. Um, so if you use a foam brush, it won't leave marks, right? And you don't want to shake this up because it'll get bubbles, all right? So I'm just going to pour some in here. I'll, I'll need more, but we're just going to start with this. And I usually put two coats. So tomorrow, after it sets overnight, I'll put another coat on it tomorrow. Now do the same thing that I did with the paint. You don't want to go this way and get a lip get a you know a lip of um of matte media i mean of uh varnish you want to go this way so you're not getting getting the varnish up underneath all right so i'm gonna just take my time here and i'm gonna need much more so let's just go ahead and pour some out okay so i usually go one way and then i go the other way So I'll put a second coat on tomorrow, but I let it dry overnight. Let it dry overnight before you put that second coat. That way it's a thin coat twice and it won't, um, you know, it'll be, it'll be a professional job of it. And it looks a little milky, but it does dry perfectly clear. And the nice thing about it being a little bit milky is you can see where you put it. Um, I don't, <laughs> yeah, right, Tina. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to lift up under here. And if y'all missed it, we're giving this to Patty Lang of what's her channel name? Sacred Mementos, because she did a uh, charity auction for Ukraine. And uh, I don't know what the results of it were or anything like that because. I just saw it, it was happening. And uh, I thought this would be a nice way to thank her for doing that. So I'm just trying to get it nice and smooth. And again, I don't go this way or this way up a, along the edge or you'll have a little, little wad of glue up under there or uh, varnish up under there. So I'm trying to keep it as smooth as I can. Okay.
thin coat, thin coat. Okay, let's put a little bit more out. Let's go over here so I'm not dragging it over. All right, hope that'll look good at the, tomorrow. All right. All right, so now I'm going to set this aside till tomorrow, and then I'll put another coat on it tomorrow. All right, I am going to go, go rinse out this brush so I save it. So hang on. Be right back. Now, let me find a nice, pl safe place away from the cats, which will be right up over here. All right, so that, take a last look till next time you see it. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't have to find her. I, I got to find out where to send it to her. I don't even know where to send it. So I'm going to put this up here on ledge and let that sit overnight. And we will, yeah. Put another coat tomorrow. All right, so let's see. Hi, Helen. Good to see you. Anybody else I miss? I said hi to Judy. Hi, Colleen. Okay, so. Thank you, Kathy Carney, for that excellent idea. And Colleen and Kathy Berg, who streamed again, if y'all missed my Amour Fabrique haul this morning, you have to go back and watch that. All right, so then the other thing I have for show and tell was two other things, and then we'll work on the uh, doing a new cover for this one. We have about an hour. I think we can get it done. But I wanted to show you these two things. So the Spirograph, <laughs> I got at a yard sale in my neighborhood, and I met a fellow crafter. So we'll see if she, I told her about my channel, told her to come by, and uh, if she stops in she can say hi all right so let's uh open this up and uh i haven't opened it yet oh somebody's spirograph pages are still in here it looks like look one of the kids she's she is downsizing her kids I, these have to be quite old because i think she said her kids are like 17 and something so these are probably old, but there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh, copy paper in here. So we'll just move all this off here. Keep the copy papers. Keep the copy papers, if there's any that are not written on, for scratch paper. Okay. We got some scratch paper. Okay, so some scratch paper, which goes under the board here. I just throw paper under the board. Okay, looky here, guys. I'm not going to work on it today because I got. I want to do the other things, but look, it's even got the little plastic still over it. Somebody took care of it. <laughs> it's got all the little plastic covers over everything. So we will do this in a future show. But there's my spirograph. Only, only paid a $1.50. A dollar fifty for it. So yeah. There we go. Hasbro. I don't know if there's any dates on them. I don't know what the original date is. This one's from 2014. I mean, I had a spirograph when I was a kid, so it goes way back before 2014. <laughs> so anyway, it's not a it's not it's not a vintage one. And then I got this book. And, and I'm going to be on, I always, I hate this because, and I always tell people, tell where you found it. I really cannot remember. I saw a, 
a YouTuber that I don't follow. It was in a sidebar recommendation. So I have no idea who showed this. And uh, but um, I saw it and I liked it. I went to Amazon and I bought it. So it's Matthew Williamson Fashion Print and Coloring Book. So what it is is Matthew Williamson's designs. Let's see what year it is. What year is this? It's not here. It's going to be. Let's look in the back. Let's see if there's a. There we go. Copyright date. 2016. So 2016. Oh, thank you, Pacola. 2016. Manon, you need to refresh your chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. How old is that? Did somebody just put in a number or something? So anyway, he's a fashion designer and he used his fashion print designs to make a color book from what I gather. So <clears throat> So here's the colors, and then, you know, you can see. So, like, here's the pr his prints, and then his design. Hi, Amy. How you doing? And the pages are really thick. And you can tell they probably want to pull out, so it's probably, to, it's one of those you're going to have to be careful with if you don't want it to fall apart. So I'm just going to show you here. So, like, here's butterfly wheel. Like, this is the print design that he did. And then here's the color book page. Now, the color book pages are real thick. I mean, like, extra heavy, extra heavy, thick pages. But these pages are really thin, and they want to pull. So, you're going to have to be careful. So, I thought this was really cool. And then here's this pineapple paisley. There's his print design, some of the clothes that he did with it, his sketch, and then here's the page. Oh, it is extra heavy paper, Tina. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of quickly go through. So what he did is this is his pattern, his, his uh, fabric, and then his clothes that he did with it, and then here's the pattern that you can color. It's kind of cool, right? Oh, yes, ASMR, Rachel. There you go, Rachel. <laughs> the parrots. Again, this is his fabric. <clears throat> One of his designs. And then the, the thing here. Page. <laughs> Okay, leopard, his his fabric, his clothes, and then the color book page. Let me get this glue off my finger here. Well, Eileen, look away. <laughs> see, look how it's already want it wants to come out. See the fabric, the color book page. There's a print. I will probably, what I'd like, you know, Boo does all the fashion stuff. I'll, I'll probably give this to her. She won't do color book pages, but she might get a lot of ideas out of the, the fashion part of the book. So I'll probably end up giving this to her <clears throat> just for her to get ideas and stuff. English Garden. Okay, the design of the pat pattern, the fabric. Here's the clothes and then the color book page. So she'll get more out of it than me. You know what I mean? Just even the color palettes are awesome for a design. So I'll probably give this to her. Look at this one. See how they want to come out? It's because they're intermixed with these thick pages. But the colors are just so pretty. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Pacola found it. <laughs> thank you, Pacola. And later on, all the links are good. Oh, thank you, Lady Jan. <laughs> Lady True North Jan for the bean juice fun. <laughs> thank you so much. Don't know Lady True North Jan. You need to follow her on Instagram. She, I want her to make a book of her tags. She does these awesome garden tags that are just stunning. And it just, they need to be a book. She hasn't done it yet. We'll see. Lady Jan's also the one that did my CAD fail uh, journal that I've shown a few. Well, I've shown a lot of times. The CAD fail journal, Lady Jan is the one that made that for me. So, yeah, but look, look at the colors. This is that uh, celebration in India where they uh, do all that. Pal all I can think of is getting that stuff in my eyes. That's all I think about when I look at it. So pretty, and I think, I don't want that stuff in my eyes. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Rachel. So... And then here, I think it's just a couple extra pages here in the back. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Matthew Williamson fashion print and coloring book. So I, like I said, I'll, I'll end up giving this to Samantha because she's doing her fashion designing and her, you know, remakes of clothes. Okay. So let's see. Let me move. I moved over the varnish. So now what I want to do is do this book. So let's see. Let me get my wax paper here. And maybe I should just go ahead and open it up and paint it the same way as I varnish the other one like this. I don't know why I didn't think about that. And, I'm, and I may have done that this way when I did this one and the other ones. When I did this, I may have done this when I did it. It's been so long. Like I said, this was 2016. So I don't remember how I did this book. It may have been that way, right? Opening it up and doing so. Kathy Carney, thank you so much. All right. So, but I think I want to do all this one in florals. So let's go ahead and put some wax paper. But I'm going to probably do black background with florals. I'm going to need more wax paper. I'm going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I can get everything up under here. I'm going to need another piece of wax paper. One more sheet. Don't get scared, Malibu. I tried to do it gently so I didn't scare her. Last time I tore the sheet off, she ran out of the room. All right, so let's put that up under there. Okay. All right, so this is the Dilusions. This is what it looks like. Uh, these covers are on here when you buy it, right? That's what it looks like. So it's a new one. All right, so I'm going to start by painting it all black. <clears throat> All right, let's find, let's see, I need another palette here. Let's see, that one's wet still. From the last time I used it, I don't have a, let's see here. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's another one. All right, I got a few of these. Since I don't drink the Folgers Columbian anymore with the black lids, I don't have those anymore. Now I drink Pete's um, Dark Roast. So they don't have the lids. They come in packages. All right, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and paint this. Whoops. I need quite a bit. All right, let's see. Put in caps for D. Oh, yes. Did somebody have a question or something? Let me go back. Let me go back. Looking if I missed something. Uh, Okay, maybe I didn't miss anything. Yeah, put it in caps if you're talking to me. I try to keep up with chat, but you know I'm going to miss stuff. All right, so let's get a bigger paintbrush. Let's see what size this one is. This blue one that I used. Oh, 
All righty. <clears throat> All right. So same thing applies. I don't. I want to go off the edge this way, right? I don't want to pull down over the edge and get a get a bead of paint. So I want to go this way. I want to get a little closer here. And again, I'm going to do this one in all florals. But I, for myself, I wanted the black background. The the one that I did, um, the one that I did for Patty Lang, is um, blue and in the yellow sunflowers for the Ukraine. You know that she did the thing for. I still haven't seen anybody here that went to her auction and her um, what do you call it? Um, you know, where she did the charity. So I'll have to go over on her channel and message her or leave a comment and say, I made you something. Go over to my channel. It's so-and-so time. So she can come see it. That we And it's us from all of us. Just me saying I'd like to see the Cadville book. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not showing it today because it does take a while. Uh, it is. I don't know which. I can't tell you what video it's on because I show it just like randomly. You know, she made it for me some years ago. So, yeah, I'm not showing it. I'm not going to show it today. I'll get too far behind. I only have about less than an hour to finish this. And uh, I don't know what where I've shown it. Lady Jan might know a video where I've shown it, but I don't remember where I've shown it. Because I've shown it a few times. Okay, let's see. Um... You did? You and Kathy went to the auction? Okay. How did it go, Colleen? Because that's why we made her the book, to thank her for doing that. I didn't go to it. I just saw that she was having it. How was it? I hope it went well. And if y'all don't know, Kathy and Colleen stream every Tuesday and now Thursday. They they used to stream on Friday. Now they've moved to uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays at Kathy Berg's and Thursdays at CK, what's her name now? CK Art, the scrap chick, on Thursday. And Eileen was there too. She made $3,000. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Okay. Thanks, guys, for the update. Well, anyway, we made that as a thank you for her for doing that. Because I thought it was awesome that she did that. Thanks for letting me know, guys. I want to make sure and go off the page like that so I don't get a bead of paint along the edge we'll do the middle at last although in mine i might paint the inside i don't know not today but i might eventually paint the inside like i did i've done the other ones and the cover and all that but today i just wanted to do these two journals I, I like if you know I've got new stuff sitting around. Let's let's try to use it. <laughs> let's try. Let's try to use it or give it away. One. Um, that's awesome. Bye, Cassie. Anybody else I miss coming in or out? Thanks for being here. Thank you, lurkers. Okay, so again, I want to flick off the edge like this. Not go this away and get a bead of paint along the edge. I'd like to work more in my abandoned books too. But, you know, we have so many projects. We try to make the rounds. 
<laughs> we'll try to make the rounds. Oh, okay. So let's see. Let's lift this up now. See what we can do. See now, it doesn't bother me if any paint gets on the underside of this. It doesn't bother me for my own personal book. I try to be real careful with hers. But uh, as long as it doesn't stick to it, you know, I'll hold it up and hit it with the heat gun. I mean, I'm just so thrilled that Kathy Carney said to do this flat. <laughs> you just don't know. It was like, oh my gosh, that was an awesome tip. It's been so long since I've done one of these. 2016, I think. So I don't even know how I did the other ones. Did I struggle? <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and hit this with the heat gun. I'm holding this up. When I flick off something, it has a whole different meaning. <laughs> oh, my God. Alrighty then, now let me put that in the water and move all this out of the way until we get some cutting done. All right, I still see a couple spots there. Hang on, let's go ahead and dry that. See, look, I already got, I already got it there. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Did a JD court break. Not to check the little CD. What's a JD court break? What is that? I'm going to grab a baby wipe while she answers. A JD court break? Oh, jury duty. Oh, you're on jury duty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Tammy, is it a big case or do you know yet? Or are you just waiting to be called? Have you been called? Have you been called for jury duty? Or are you waiting to see if you will be called for a trial? I'll let you answer. And thank you for the super chat, Tammy. Thank you so much. All right. So this is the book that we worked out of with the sunflowers. I'm going to go just kind of move this up for a minute so I have some room to cut. Let's move the black paint. Let's move this because it's got paint on it. Okay, same for this. Let's fold this in half until I start getting matte medium just so it's uh, not getting paint under there. So move that up there for a minute. I'm at, okay, so let's see. I can never be on a jury. I'm still. Oh! So you're just waiting for them to dismiss you. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us for a few minutes. It's so funny. All right. So let's see what I want to do. I want just I want it like a, a big row of flowers across the bottom. Okay. It doesn't have to go like all the way to that bottom edge, but like to edge to edge right here in the middle. And then the top will have stars. So I kind of just want, you know, maybe start off with, some a big clump of flowers and then go to see like a row oh i like those 
Let's see. I didn't mean to tear that, but that's okay. And these up here and these right here. So again, how I'll do mine is I'm going to just tear it like this. I'll tear it out. And when I mat medium it down, then what I'll do is I'll paint in between these flowers. Rather than fussy cutting these, I will paint them. So if you paint in your torn collage, it will blend in much easier than if you cut it. And also, because I'm going to, you know, gloss varnish over it, that it even gets lost even more. So, but, so you're not going to have to watch me fussy cut a bunch of flowers, maybe a few. But uh, you don't have to watch me cut too many. So this is the front. So I might do a couple of rows here. So let's do some of this. Because I'm going to do this like my regular collage, how I, you know, you see me do my uh, altered, abandoned book kind of collage. It's the same kind of thing here. Yes, teacher voice coming out, Rachel. All right, so do I want some more, another row? Maybe I'll put a few of these. Let me just tear some of these sheets. That'll be easier. Um, no, not loving those. Let's see. Do I want some? Maybe. Maybe some of those. Those are, That's too much greenery in the background. Maybe. Let's see. I'm just trying to get the large, the row. I don't really want roses. Is that all the rows? I think that might be all the, the rows. Okay, so let's start with this. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to want to break them up because I'm going to want to look like a garden, not just a row of flowers. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right. So I'm going to want to do this. I'm going to want to do that. I'm going to want to do this. Of course, I really don't want anything on the spine. Let's get a little back here. just kind of laying it out right now but I want it to just come right up you know about up to here and then it's going to be outer space up there so let's see so I'm going to do a few rows of the flowers broken up and then I'll, I'm going to intersperse other flowers and have a few kind of growing up And again, I see where the spine is. I don't want to go to the spine there. So maybe have this up here. And there's going to be over, there's going to be flowers overlaid on top of these too. This is just kind of the base. All right, let's see. Nick's Crafty Corner. I said hi to Amy, Melissa, and Amy sisters. Hello. All right, do I want some of these or these? I think I've got enough. Do I want a little bit of these? Maybe. So let's go ahead. And again, I'm going to paint out the areas. I'm Rather than fussy cutting all this. Since so they're glued on. Rid of a little bit of that 
extra white there. Something like that's too line. Well, now let's go and look in the book now for other flowers. Now that I know I got all the lines of flowers there. Let's see what else I can find. All right, let's see if I can shove that up a little. Come down here in the book. Let's see what I'm liking. Now I said I don't really want anything this big. I want to try to keep it. Like nothing like bigger than this. So let's get a carnation. Now I'm going to, I don't want to tear every page out of the book right now. So I'm just going to try to do this. And although it would probably behoove me to tear them all out and just put them in a folder. But let's see. I'm just going to pick out ones that are touching my fancy. Purple. Don't really want roses though. That's kind of dark against the black. Do we want? I like the pansies. Reminds me of my grandma. Okay, let's get these two here. If I have some overlapping, I might do a little fussy cutting, trimming, but if they're not going to be overlapping, I'm just going to paint them in. Let's see. Let's do a red one up here. Okay. I know y'all can't see up there yet. I'm going to move it in just a minute. I just want to pick out a few more flowers first. Get it out of the book. So I need to go over here, I think. Oh, let's see. You don't never been behooved. <laughs> if it would behoove you. All right, I'm still flipping. I only want a couple more. I'm looking at this and looking up and looking at this and looking back and forth here to see what I want. Okay. I think I need just one more little something over on this side. Maybe one more a purple something down here. Maybe I should move this purple down here. Oops. All right, in here. And I know you can't see up there, so just a minute. I'm going to move the book down in just a second. I kind of like this one too low. Let's get it out of the book. This would be cool on the front cover. Just sticking up here, maybe. Okay, 
Hi. Don't fall asleep, guys. I'm getting there. And I could maybe make a stem for that one on the back. If I put this over here and that red stem over there. Okay, I think that's it. I think that might do it. We can always add more. All right, we can always add more. All right, here we go. This is kind of what I got right here. Remember, these are going to be in space. All right, so let's... Uh, All righty, we're going to glue, and then we're going to paint this in. Name the flower book. It is the Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage Flowers. Okay, you can get it on Amazon. All right, let's glue. Got my glue brush. I got my matte medium still here. All right, so let's go ahead and now remember, I'm going to paint around. I'm going to paint paint these flowers. I'm going to blend them in with paint. So do a little section at a time, so that way I can. Uh, I think I want that way up at the top there. Um, get the matte medium on there nice and smooth. And then take a card and kind of... Okay. Um, mods, can y'all get rid of the thing again? The, what do you call it? The trolls. Get rid of the trolls. Go this way with this one, and then this one will kind of overlap just a little. I don't know if they're. Let's see what I can do here. Well, good grief. I don't mean to click on them. I'm trying to get the little. I can't block them from here. I can time them out. Because I'm not. Okay. Thanks, Tina. Thank you. All right. I don't mean to click on them. <laughs> I'm trying to click them off. All right. There we go. Now, I'm just going to kind of move all this down, like kind of how I have it here. So it kind of is in the same. Here, I probably need one more flower right there, but I'll wait till I get all this done so I can go back and add. Enjoying the show, getting some ideas, getting some inspiration, some ideas, some enabling. <laughs> There's always enabling. Can't get a little bit more of that medium. It'll be generous with the matte medium if you don't want wrinkles and buckles 
We'll sell this for a minute. Okay. There's a start. We can always add some individual flowers later. I just want to get all the wrinkles and everything out. Okay, did I do okay up here? Okay. All right. Let me put my glue brush back in a baby wipe until we get back if we need it again so it doesn't dry out. All right. Let's see. Pull this down. Let's go ahead and dry. All right, I think I can move my this stuff here. I'm not as picky about getting it on the inside as I was for the, you know, the one I'm gifting. So I don't, I'm probably going to paint the inside anyway. So, all right, let's go ahead and dry. It's really bright over on this side here. Sunshine. Yeah, our channel links, yeah. No, that would just attract them to your channel. I'll probably put some individual flowers on top, like fussy cutted one, fuss, fussy cutted flowers, fussy cut flowers after it's all said and done. Right now, I just want to get the background in. All right, so now let me get my black paint here and a small brush. Let's see, brush here, all right. So in about 30 minutes, I don't know if I'm going to finish this in 30 minutes, but let me see if I can fix the lights a little flashed out. Okay, sun's coming through, plus my big studio lights. All right, so now, here's what we're going to do. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. Okay. So... This is what I mean by painting it in. This brush is a little, hmm, might have to change brushes. Feels a little, I don't know what. Let me get a different one. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Here we go. This one. All right. Okay. And then I'm going to paint in some stems, and then I'm going to do stars, and then I can always go in. It's going to be hard for you to see that. Maybe I'll leave a little bit of a little edge on it so you can see. Um, I'm going to do a space scene with the in behind the flowers. I just thought flowers would be good on the journal. But because the edges are torn, it's going to blend in much better than a cut edge. And I'm going to draw in green stems. Paint in. So now I get to the, my favorite part, the details, which is hard for me to ever get to because... We usually take time to do all the basic stuff first. Well, you have to. You have to do the basic basics stuff first. Okay. So let's see now I can make this carnation real feathery. 
by tapping in the black paint. <clears throat> Y'all still with the tour? What are y'all working on today? Now that the weekend is over, do y'all have uh, projects that you're doing this week? Thank you, Carla. If y'all can see, see how that's feathery like around the edges? If y'all weren't here earlier, I was talking about Devin's room tour. She did an awesome room tour of her studio space over the weekend. It was really good. Denise is in New York living her best life. I showed some pictures earlier. Janet comes on at one. Hopefully she'll work on her new zine project with the monsters. That's what I'm voting for anyway. I don't know that she asked us for a vote, but. Can y'all hear them? I'm sure you can, working on the roof across the street. It's just background noise to me. I don't mind it. Let's see how that looks. Oh, my gosh. Mods, can we get rid of the uh, <laughs> bots again? Oh, gee. All the 12-year-old boys are out again. I'll go in later, and um, if the mods don't block them completely, I'll go in and, and block their channels and their everything. I'm on StreamYard right now, not YouTube, but I'm I'll get them blocked off YouTube if the mods if the mods don't get them. Okay, thank you, Pacola. Mods have been blocked. I know they go and change their their um, uh, computer account numbers and come back but um we got snapdragons and mods on alert so <laughs> i'm gonna try to go a little faster so because i want to get the stars put in too maybe a couple planets I'm not putting any watches on this one. There's no time on this one. Very quiet. I'm see. I'm listening to them do the roofing across the street. It's putting me in an ASMR moment. And I should be talking to you guys. Thanks, John. Good to see you. John did an awesome interview over the weekend. Oh, John, let me show you something real quick. Hang on. I bought a book I want to show you. So 
I found two new books because of John's Oak Island show. And he did an, I'll show it in just a second. He did an interview. Um, well, he does all kinds of interviews, but he did, um, he did a recent one. There, I did, he's the guy that did that one. There was no book for him. I would have bought it. But anyway, um, Dr. Lee Spence, I found this book, John, The Treasures of the Confederate Coast, The Real Rep Butler. So um, he did, about a week ago, he did an interview with Dr. Lee Spence. And um, let me see what year this book came out. And it is signed. To sign, it's signed. This one came out in nine, 1995. So, oh, thank you for the super sticker, John. <laughs> so if y'all want to go follow, if y'all like Oak Island and the show and talking about it, John has all kinds of guests. He also has a uh, Facebook. He also has a Facebook um group that has like 70,000 members and uh, so we need to go and boost up his YouTube channel because he just started doing YouTube more recently so anyway he had he had Lee Spence on his show about uh, last week and then I think the week before they were talking about Darcy O'Connor's book so I bought this one too John the Secret Treasure of Oak. And then I have I have three or four of the newer ones that come out, you know, the newer Oak Island ones. But I thought I wanted to read some of the older ones. So this one was um, copyright 1978. And then this edition was put out in 2018. Because it does talk about the TV show and the brothers and everything in this one. So it's been updated. 2018, they updated it. So, yeah, I got those two books. Yeah. So, yeah, John always has good guests. And then Judy comes on. His, um, um, I don't know, call, him, <laughs> call her his cohort. <laughs> and does um, synopsis the day after the show comes on. Comes on Tuesday. So, they come on. She comes. Judy does a synopsis on Wednesday. And uh, it's really fun. If y'all like Oak Island, you know, and I know people go, oh, they don't ever find anything. You know, for me personally, this is just me. I love the hunt and the search. And if they never find anything, well, I feel like, oh, I'll bless her hearts. But it's all the, the research, the, you know, they go overseas. They have all kinds of new equipment and all kinds of theories and treasure hunting theories and it's all that I like it for all that if even if they never found anything I mean I hope they do I hope they do but um <laughs> yeah, Rachel <laughs> well if we got on it we could but we, you know we don't we don't uh, but anyway that's cute Rachel but it's you know it's all about for me it's all about the research and the hunting and the looking and you know, John always has on guests and treasure hunters and Templars and Masons, <laughs> just all kinds of stuff that make it fun and interesting. So again, whether they found anything or not, I would still be, um, I'd still be watching it. So nobody's going to discourage me saying, oh, they never find anything. Why are you watching that every week? Mm, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Uh yeah, John, right? So, yeah, the, soon, the season will be over soon. Oh, here we go. Tina put a link to it. There we go. So I'm just trying to finish this up, guys. While I'm listening to the roofers across the street. I don't really want a harsh line there. So yeah, go follow John. He's he's got a cool, cool chat, cool show, and lots of interesting ideas. And John has pictures of all behind the scenes of things going on and just really, really good. If y'all like Oak Island, you'll like his channel.
And again, I'm going to put little stems in and around this. But I got to get the base coat in first. <clears throat> All right, I'm getting there. This is the kind of the details that I like doing that we always run out of time. I also want to finish that um, page, the, uh, the serpent picture in the Kirby book. I want to finish that. Janet comes on at one. She's doing a zine. Well, I don't know if she's going to do it today, but she is working on a zine of her monsters. That's so cute. Like I said, I want to put some green stems in here. Hopefully we'll have enough time. Stems. Appreciate all y'all being here. Thanks to everyone that's here and all the lurkers that hang out every week. Unless you're a bot or a troll. Then we're then it's <laughs> then we don't. But we have pretty good groups here. We don't have too much issues. Today's kind of the exception. I don't know if uh, there's a school holiday or something. <laughs> Making progress. Not looking at chat because I'm trying to get this done. <clears throat> well, John, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. And uh, I appreciate you. We uh we really enjoy your channel. Thank you so much for the super super chat. I appreciate it. Now, I'm serious. If y'all like uh, mysteries and Oak Island and treasure hunting and all that, you you know, you do need to go over to John's channel. I'm getting it there, guys. Getting this done. Get her done. I'm trying to blend in some of these edges a little better. Am I going pretty fast? I think I am. <laughs> I'm trying to get it done. So I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern till about 12 or, you know, well, sometimes a little after, sometimes a little before, depending on what project <clears throat> we're working on. John, who's the next, if you're still here, who's the next guest you're having on? Have you announced, have you announced the next guest yet? <clears throat> I don't know if you've announced it. Maybe you have and I haven't seen it. Aww. aww. Oh, I'm glad, John. That's nice. I'm glad she did. I showed it here when I did it a couple was a couple months ago to the drawing of John. I don't know if he's announced the next guest. If he has, if he announced it on Facebook, I haven't seen it. They're so interesting, though. All right, just about got. Now we're going to throw in some stars. Some stems. Well, I probably should do the stems first. All right, let's go ahead and dry this. Let's dry this real quick. 
It's a little flashed out over here because of the bright sun and everything coming here. Let me turn down the brightness just a little. I'm flying. I'm trying to, Tina. I'll try to get it done. Let me get a couple shades of green, probably a lime and a. Why is that so? Wants to. Hmm. It might be a pain. Maybe it's because of the black background. Okay, let's see. Let's put a little bit of the lime and a little bit of a little bit of avocado, and we'll go with both those colors. All right. Let me get my brush back out. All right, so let's see what we can do here. I want it kind of thick so that'll because so it'll show up over this black. Let's see here. Let's kind of, I like that, but that color, there we go. I'll put some thinner ones in there, too. All right, let me dry that, because it's under the rubber band here. Huh? Well, I can go in here with the pasta paint pan. You know, get a little bit more highlights and stuff. So I'm just going to try to. I have these kind of fade off at the ends. Something like that. Because I'm going to have stars and space and all that going on too. Which is what we're going to do next. Thanks, Shelly. Anybody else coming in? I'm gonna get this done so I know I'm ignoring y'all. Quiet, trying to not look at chat for a second and get this put in here. All right, 
I think that's good enough. Maybe this one is a little bit more. Maybe there we go. All right. No, one or two. One or two more. All right. Dry. Have a couple little dots over here and put some black paint on. Hi, Judy. I know, and it's always at the last minute I'm trying to do them, too. All right, let me get a fresh baby wipe because I'm going to need to probably wipe some things off the stars. All right, let me get a bucket of stars here, guys. It's so bright over here. Maybe I need to turn. I wonder what happened. Did that make it? Nah. Really? Eh, I'll just leave it. We're almost done. Okay, let's get some uh, white paint. Some water. A floppy brush. Where's my Chinese calligraphy brush? Where are you? Where'd you go? Okay. A little more water. It's going to look real cool when it's varnished. If y'all miss seeing how it look, how these look varnished, I'll show you the other one. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stars all over the whole thing. And then I'll go back and wipe them off some of the flowers. Because I don't want too many stars on top of the flowers. So because it's got matte medium over the whole thing it's easy to wipe off while they're wet and this paint goes it's thick when you do this okay so we'll get all this down take my baby wipe in any place there's too many stars that i don't want i'll just wipe them off I don't mind a few overlapping the flowers, but I don't want it looking like they're, you know, too much there. So I'm just going and kind of get rid of them on, on top of the flowers there. And then I can do a, like a shooting star or two, a couple of planets in here. All right, let's dry. A heavenly garden, there you go. Denise had a vision of after mom passed away, which was her grandmother, of her in uh, the garden with these flowers that have new colors that have never been seen before. And um, some I've had visions after certain relatives passed, like different ones, like my grandfather, my grandmother, uh, Hubster's mom. Um, but I didn't have uh, I didn't have one with my mother, but Denise did. Denise had a, had a vision of with my mom, so it was kind of 
this makes that makes it a little more special, Rachel, that you said that. All right, so let's see. Um, let me get my Posca. So now I got to remember what this is going to look like. This is the front of the book, and this is the back. So maybe we'll just have one here. And of course, I'm going to need this. These stars are not completely dry yet. They're not completely dry, so I don't want to smear them. Yeah, so Denise had the vision for mom. All right, and then the back, I can have the star, the shooting star going the other way because it's in the back. Let's see. Let's do that. I know it looks like they're going two different ways, but when the book's closed, you're only seeing one side, right? So let's see. Let's do a couple more little places here. And I'll try to dry it a little better. Hubster's home for lunch. Just right about right time. I want to try to dry it enough so I can close it. And then there's a couple places like right up under here where it's going to need a couple more stars because I didn't get to um, splatter them up underneath. Uh, so we can add some more of those. But let me go ahead and dry it so I can try to close it. I didn't get to varnish it for you guys. I'll have to varnish it and you'll see. <laughs> I don't know, I see. I don't know. Do you shake them up well? So the next time y'all see this by Wednesday, that's the garage door closed. I will have varnished it. Okay, so hopefully that's dry enough where I can close it and show you the front and the back. So there's the front. And I might make these little stars a little pink. But there's the front. And I'll show you a varnished one so you can see. There's the back. This is a little too, it almost looks like a little, like a little latch. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one there. I'll move it somewhere else. It's too, I don't know. All right. So here's what it looks like when they're varnished. This is my one from 2016. There's the front and here's the back. So, there we go. Of course, I got some glue and stuff on them over the years, but this is the back. There's my little, my little guy right there. So this is what it looks like. Had a pink moon. Maybe I'll put a pink one here. So anyway, it'll look good when it's varnished. So I'll have it varnished by the time, um, by the time on Wednesday, so you can see it finished. And then, of course, I I'll show you. Uh, Here's the one. The varnish is almost dry, but I'm going to wait overnight before I put another coat on it. This is the one that we um, were giving to Patty Lang for doing her auction for the for the uh, for Ukraine. So I got to get in touch with her and hopefully she'll see. Oh, I was going to have to fix that right there. I have to fix that with some more varnish. I'm going to put another coat of varnish on here. So that's what hers looks like. So. Any questions before we head out, guys? I think I showed y'all everything I had to share today. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Don't forget, Janet comes on in about an hour. A little less. The varnish I use, Amy, is Delta Ceram Coat Gloss Interior Exterior Water-Based. My teacher voice, water-based. You get oil-based, you're going to have to have you know, turpentine and stuff to clean your brushes. This cleans with water. Thank you, Fernando, for the super sticker. Thank you so much. And you'll be looking for your prints. I'll be sending those out. Thank you guys for the super stickers, the super chats. Thanks for being here and being part of the giveaway. But that's the, that's the varnish I use. 
Look, see how it look, this is the color it really is. It flashes out with the bright light over here. But look how good it looks. Just looks so nice. And I think I'll probably put a little bit more, maybe some some viney stuff in here. You know, a few little vines coming down. So, all right. Thank you, Debbie Bruce. Thanks, Dare. Thanks, Us McKinney. Thank you, guys. Thank you, all the lurkers. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Miss Paco. Where'd she go? My little Snapdragon. <laughs> Hi, Joan. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. Thanks for all the links, everybody, mods, and for getting rid of the trolls. And uh, we will see you guys either at Janet's in about 45 minutes, or I'll see you guys on Wednesday um, for another awesome show. <laughs> I think they're fun. All right, guys. Bye-bye.